to the strands which you might have seen on Jewelry Maker before. And then some flat faceted pieces as well. I like the Viking knit because for me it gives that finished look to your pieces. Um, you can use just the, the knit on its own and create a statement piece. Add one stone and your look just completely changes. It's such an easy technique to do um, and again you can just do so much with it. You flatten it, you can make rings with it, you can um, drop stitches, add stitches. It's just got so much scope um, and again having a lazy daisy tool to create the knit makes it so much easier. Um, you can do it, you know, you can carry the tool wherever you go um, and it's just uh, a really, really lovely technique to learn. Jewelry Maker is your one-stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. Our mission is to provide you with the best quality products. Value for money and excellent customer service. Come and learn with us. Tune in every day from 9am to 9pm. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Even when you've got a pile of emerald that looks like this, even some of the larger gemstones, which are mainly reserved to put into jewellery, if you hold one of the bigger stones up to the light, you'll notice that only part of the gemstone is light and gem worthy. Good morning and welcome to Jewelry Maker. My name's Ed. Thank you very much for tuning in this morning. Don't worry, we are going to make it worth your while because, of course, we will be launching the new storage bag. This is the, uh, actually, it, I think it's described as a, a shopping bag, actually. I just said that to Scott, yeah. I yeah. thought, you know, you could go anywhere with that bag. Yeah. Literally anywhere. Perfect. Scott is our sales manager. He's been in the studio this morning. Everybody's very excited and uh, I've also had some fantastic comments on Facebook already so I'm pretty sure this is going to be one of the most popular launches we've ever done. Um, I'm not sure whether we'll be able to get these back in stock before Christmas so this morning is the time to get hold of this. We do have quite a healthy stock level but as I say I am expecting them to fly out the door. Now that's not all we have this morning because we are joined by the lovely Sheila, our resident designer. How are you, Sheila? Oh, very well, thank you. Yes. How do you? Except you bump on your head. Yes, so everybody's asking done. me about my head, um, <laughs> probably because now it's healing. Yeah. So a few weeks ago, I had a little accident on the way to the studios. I came off my bike and uh, I hurt my head. But yes, it's starting to heal now, but you can still sort of see it. You can, yeah. Aww, I'll live. Everyone. I'll be all right. It was my own stupid fault for not wearing my helmet. Well, yes, that's very true. So morning, everybody, as well. A lesson learned there. Yep. Um, also, this morning, we are going to be putting quite a lot of focus on feathers. These are very, very popular, very on trend with contemporary jewellery design. And uh, Sheila has incorporated them into some rather fantastic pieces you can see there. That's beautiful, isn't it? That's like a real sort of peacock colours there, aren't they? Mm, it's lovely, lovely gorgeous. mixture, isn't it? Yeah, yeah the I turquoise the and the purples. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, we're not just going to be bringing you feathers, of course, because here at Jewelry Maker we're part of the Genuine Gemstone Company, and that means that we can offer you the most competitive prices on the market for Genuine Gemstones. Some of Mother Nature's finest creations, and this particular strand is uh, something that actually highlights the quality of the gemstones that we can source for you these days. And we've uh, A lot of the people who are working on the show this morning have been present for the sort of evolution if you like so we have seen you know the days when we were more heavily focused on 
the jaspers and the agates of this world, but now we can source jewelry quality gemstones, faceted top drill drops of morganite and aquamarine effectively. I mean, it's just exquisite, isn't it? As I say, I mean, if you were to find these gemstones on the high street, I suspect that they would have set them into nine carat gold, at least, in fact. Some of our favourite gemstones there, aquamarine, of course. Um, I suppose quite a traditional gemstone. That's my birth gemstone. Is it? Aquamarine, yeah, it's a beautiful, much. beautiful colour. I think it's it's such a delicate, very feminine colour, and it also reminds me of the ocean and the yeah. holidays, and Absolutely. and I think it goes with most things. That it goes with pinks and blues and or it goes with anything really. would you use the morganite and aquamarine together then to create a, a multi-barrel design yeah I would yeah soft oh gosh and yeah baby blues? yeah definitely there you go then well as you can see our resident designer has uh, felt inspired by this strand almost instantly would you say I, I, I mean from where i'm standing the actual the sort of hues and the sparkle from it is really mm. quite amazing it, it doesn't always show on the television but it's it's twice as sparkly as that isn't it in not having when any you're actually looking at it yeah, yeah absolutely even our studio lights you can see yeah, how beautiful. beautifully it's sparkling away there i know what you jewelry makers are like you're all magpies really absolutely yeah. <laughs> well this is coming up for us at 10 a.m so less than an hour to wait before the premiere launch of our multi-barrel some of the finest quality barrel we have ever been able to source you here at jewelry maker and we don't say that lightly because i have to say over the last 18 months to 12 months the quality of the gemstones has been improving from delivery to delivery so every six weeks we seem to see a massive improvement to the point now where as i say you'd be happy to see them set into nine karat gold and our sister channel gems tv so we're giving you the same opportunities that you know the master jewelers out there have to work with some of the best quality gemstones that Mother Nature can create for us. We also have another exciting strand. I'll give you one quick heads up. I know everybody's chomping at the bit to get the bag. We are going to launch it as our early bird, so don't panic. And uh, the only reason I say that is I've already had three or four Facebook comments before I came on air saying, please tell me you're launching this early because I have to go out and I don't want to miss out. So as I say, get on the phone lines early for the storage bag uh, the shopping bag sorry when it is launched on screen um, just wanted to bring everybody's attention to this strand as well it's multi-colored tiger's eye and uh, some color tones here that i've never actually seen in tiger's eye beautiful hot pinks and fuchsia tones but actually you know what for me <laughs> i know that my producer's not going to agree with this because she's shouting look at the blue ones <laughs> Regular viewers will already be aware that my producer has a bit of a penchant for blue gemstones. She has, doesn't she? Yeah. <laughs> that one right at the front there now is the same one I was going to highlight. These, it looks like the, the colours of a, a sort of a sunset, mm. if you like. Do you know what I mean? I think I, I made a necklace, I don't know, uh, last year, I think, and it was like a bunch of grapes and it was made with tiger's eye, really, really and it looked absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Spectacular. And, and it goes gorgeous with sort of golds as well and some of the space of beads that we sell. And, and yeah. of course, optical effects, so that's absolutely. always popular as well, isn't yeah. it? It yeah. gives a, a, a different dimension to your designs when you've got those. We'll have a look at that in a little while. Just wanted to uh, let you all know about it, but I suppose without further ado, we don't want to wind anybody up. We know that everybody is looking forward to this one. In fact, you know what, Producer D? I did promote this yesterday evening at around about five to nine after we did our showstopper because I normally present the late show and I had about 25 text messages instantly. The second I put it on the desk saying, are you launching that bag now? <laughs> so uh, yes, as I say, expect to have a little bit of a wait on the phone lines unless you're straight on the phones. In fact, Caroline has texted in straight away to say, Ed, when will you be bringing the bag? I need <laughs> to go to work. Oh, I need to work around housework, but I have to get this bag. Well, am I right in thinking that the code's on screen right now? So that me. Oh, look, there's another one. What time are you doing the bag, please? So that's Della, regular contributor to all our shows. Of course, if you want to get involved with the show, then don't hesitate. The number to text is 6077. Start your text with the phrase JM Studio. Otherwise, it doesn't come through to us. Don't know where it goes. And of course, if you're shopping online, which I can see, about 200 people already are, then uh, simply oh. click the message box. 
and uh, you can type through and whatever you write will come through to our producer screen in fact if you're watching on a tablet or an android phone you don't even have to do that do you know i i need you need to keep me updated with all this Ed, I'll show I'm, you. yeah so if you're watching on your phone which i do sometimes because i'm cool like yeah. that what, you, down with the kids <laughs> underneath there's just a, a box that says add text here so you can just start writing your message you don't have to do anything once I'm shown, I'm, I'm okay, but to actually, yeah, oh yeah, I'll have to have a look. Look Gosh, at that, Patricia's got yeah. hers already, as yeah. have about, as I say, about 200 other people now. I will say we do have quite a healthy stock level of this, but Andrea's coming through to take four. Sabine's got two, Sharon's got Great two, Christmas Margaret's got two. Would make a fantastic gift. Christmas presents. Yes. Quite, because um, it's <gasps> quite generic, you could use this whether... Whether you're a jury maker or not, actually, I, well, you I, could I, use I was it, saying to, to, um, to Scott this morning, you know, when you're sort of on the, on the beach or even going shopping, you, it goes with any colour that you wear. Yep. It can certainly get you noticed in a crowd. Absolutely. And, uh, and you can also pop your little bottle of you know what? wine in or your, a you little know, your bottle little of wine. Or something well, or... well, how far did we get? Ten past nine and you already <laughs> need a drink. That's no, a no, no, sad no, indictment no. of working with me, isn't it? <laughs> I'm just saying, if, if you are on the beach, mm -hmm. or, you know, I'll late thinking, holidays... I can just see you strolling through one of those posh Dubai hotels with you your jewellery maker bag, heading mm. to the my, beach. Yeah, yeah, my um, Cosmopolitan magazine, or maybe Vogue, That's or Red, or whatever I choose to buy, plus a jewellery maker magazine. Yeah. There you go. Phone in there, tool kits in there, gemstones well, I'll, in there. I'll tell you what, you... You, you won't have any trouble fitting things into it. Have a look at this, how much storage space you actually have. Look at the size of this huge front pocket. You'd also get your tablet in there, Ed, wouldn't yes, you? Yes, that must be what that's for, yeah. yeah. In fact, you could get a whole laptop in In fact, in here. I'll have to buy you it. You get a desktop PC in here, almost. You Not could, almost, you could almost. Actually, you um, could. Yeah, it is, it is like, literally, it's like Mary Poppins bag, I this think, one. I think I've got to have that. You've got if any left all of these pockets here. I mean, that could be good for your mobile. We might struggle, actually, <laughs> to be think, honest. Think we <laughs> might do. I was just thinking. Some we Christmas started with over 500 holiday. of these. You can see how quickly they're being allocated. In Gosh. fact, our quantity probably can't keep up with the demand as the sales are going through. So you probably can't take that on face value. Actually, the the quantity because they are flying out the door. There you go. Look, Louise has texted in and say, "Yay! I've got two bags." I know it's Louise because Louise was the first person to comment on my Facebook post this morning to say she wanted one. So uh, yeah, thanks for getting involved this morning, Louise. Fantastic. And that just goes to show how useful this is because our expert designers are coming through to uh, grab two of these. In fact, Louise has just said she's got, um, and I suppose. For a designer like Louise, who does have to travel um, sort of the length and breadth of the country, really, to run her workshops here at Jewelry Maker. She lives up north in Yorkshire. She has to come down to the Midlands to do a workshop. She's got two of these to transport, I suppose, not just her reels of wire and her designs, but also her tools. And you can see here that you do have these little compartments. Look at this. This is quite good if you are... Um, quite an organised designer who likes to sketch out your designs. You've got the little pen holders there as well, but I suppose you could probably get certain tools in there, your bead reamers, things like that would you, fit You in could there. get everything in there. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm just watching the stock because I'm going to run out in a minute. You, you're going to run out to, I'm and get, get on your three, phone? Three or Brilliant. four, yeah, I love Christmas that. presents. So um, I have to say, easily the largest bag that we've ever brought you, I would, I would think so. And have and a look at these. Do you know what? These these um, straps are so secure you can see from the way it's been stitched and the material that's been used it's going to take you a decent load you know you what need I mean? to model it Ed because you, do I, you think I, I need to model I did it? try I, I did pose with it this morning okay. yeah. see look there you go <laughs> I've got it going spin, on. Spin, spin. <laughs> My son did that yesterday, you know, for the first ever time. I bought him a new Parker and he was modelled it for me. He came in and he just went, came, walked in and went... <laughs> without being asked, he gave me a twirl. Oh. So there you go. Oh, in fact, we had a... Uh, is that an anonymous comment? Don't forget to put your name on them if you want a little shout-out this morning. 200 of these bags have already been allocated now. It says, Ed, with the, with the bad head, has <laughs> launched the bag with the swag. Ah, okay, quite good. good. That's a little, 
little haiku or something like that, depending on how many syllables there are, they didn't count. Um, okay, if you're placing this in your basket, you need to be checking out Susan's text in to send, had to get another one, <laughs> I now have two, yay, thanks JM, there you go. So lots and lots of people multi-buying this this morning, just goes to show how useful it is going to be, and Stuart, or Ted, has just texted in to say, morning Ed, and Sheila, Ed, what are you doing up at this time on a Saturday? Good question, Stuart. <laughs> I'm not on the way to Anfield, so I have no idea. Um, didn't think you knew there were two nine o'clocks. Yes, good point. Yes, normally I am on the late show, but uh, they had to draft in the big dog for a sale of the bag like this. Naomi's texting to say, good job. I didn't have a coffee this time, Ed. Oh, because you would have missed out on the bag, yes. So Kay got two of these as well. Sheila really has left. Her, her, her station, as it were. She's gone. She's gone to order her bag. Unbelievable. You just can't get the help these days, can you? Look at this bag. It's flying out the door. Do you know what I've just realised? Over 200 bags have now been allocated. We haven't even put the price on screen yet. We are going to give you an exclusive launch price this morning. Hopefully, it'll be the price that we honour throughout time. But of course, whenever we're launching a brand new product, that is the key time to get involved in the deal. Elaine, oh dear, look at me getting excited. I've knocked over Sheila's gorgeous jewellery design. Sorry, Sheila. Uh, Elaine has texted in to say, Morning, gang. Please, could you show the inside of the large compartment? Yes, of course. And if ever you want to see anything here on Jewellery Maker, don't forget, it's not our show. It's your show. So you've got four large pockets at the back. So two of which are Velcro shut, so you can probably put you know, your keys or your phone in those ones. And then you've got two open ones there. And then you've got another large compartment here, which has the, uh, the, the little pen holders, as I say. Oh, and look at that, I've just missed one. Oh, I tell you what, you might be able to get your, your tablet or your Kindle or, or other devices like this uh, of this genre <laughs> in there so that'll probably fit in there uh, you've also got the same on the other side so you've you've got your four large compartments then you've got the large section here and then on the side you've got even more compartments so huge storage solution i mean do you know what i know that it does see fantastic for just uh, so just a storage solution around your house. Speak to so many workshop attendees who tell me that they're getting in a lot of trouble from their significant others for making a mess around the house, basically, because you've got, when you've got eight different Kumahimo discs with projects on them in one room, and then you've got 25 reels of wire in another room, you could sort of, uh, you know, just provide yourself with a little bit of a storage solution using the bag. Um, we're getting close to half of the stock being allocated already and we haven't actually shown you our early morning launch price. Now I know that if you are shopping online you can already see it and that's why we've got about 40 people with it placed in their basket. You've got to be checking out because here comes your early bird launch price this morning for the crafting shopper bag. 19.95 is your exclusive launch price. As I say, hopefully that will be the price that we honour for the duration of this, but I don't know what's going to happen, of course. So this is going to be your best opportunity to get involved. I have to say, if you're tuned in this morning, maybe the jewellery maker in your household has actually left the room and you were just... Putting a glance over to the screen and thinking, what could I get them for Christmas? This is going to be the perfect gift for a jewellery maker. If you don't necessarily know what genre of jewellery your partner works within, or you don't know what discipline they use, you don't know what tools they require, this is one of those sort of generic items that's going to be popular with all jewellery makers, no matter what kind of jewellery they create. And Caroline has just texted in to say, I can give my husband his tool bag back now. I've been using it because nothing was big enough before. Thanks, Jim, for saving the sanity in our house. There you go. It's exactly what I was saying. The fact that a hobby that is so all-encompassing, that is almost an addiction. Um, I'm not making light of addiction in any way, but, you know, I do know that a lot of jewellery makers do sort of see this as a little bit more than a hobby, actually. And it does start to uh, 
sort of take over your life a little bit and starts to take over your house a little bit from what I hear. So this provides you with a perfect storage solution. Um, and uh, the other thing is, and uh, do you know what? If you are buying this for somebody as a gift, this could be quite a good way to start your Christmas shopping. Has anybody started their Christmas shopping yet? Dan? No. Have you started your Christmas shopping? No. 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 Dan on camera, has anybody in the gallery started their Christmas shopping? No. Nobody organised well. I've got two presents. I've already bought two presents. Getting ahead of the game, guys. Yep. Um, they're not storage bags, I will say that. I haven't had a chance to buy a storage bag for anyone. But do you know what? Because here at Jewelry Maker, you're only ever going to pay one P&P per day. You could add to that order all day. You could actually create quite an impressive sort of a collection of items. I mean, elsewhere, if you were to buy this from certain, say, online retailers and you had to pay posting packaging, A, it's normally like five or six pounds, but also they might charge you based on the size of the bag. So if you wanted a bigger storage bag, you might have to pay more PMP. Never going to be the case here at Jewelry Maker. One PMP per day, no matter how bulky your item is, no matter how many items you add to your order. And um, do you know what? We, what we should do is, what we really need are reels of wire, aren't they? I'm going to grab some. I'm going to grab some reels of wire. Oh, thank you. Perfect. I'll take the whole bag. Thank you. Perfect. As always, Cassandra saves the day. Now, you can see, oh, this isn't going to, this isn't even going to touch the sides on this bag. I'm telling you. It doesn't matter how many reels of wire you put in there. <laughs> Obviously, there will be some sort of limit. The laws of physics require that. Do you know what? I don't even know why I'm bothering to do that, because it'll take the whole bag, won't it? That's how large it is. I'll just tidy that back up for Cassandra. There you go. And, uh, yeah, so we'll put that in the bag. That'll fit in there nicely. Look at that, big bag of reels of wire. Boom. No wonder Louise Jacobson's got to. Um, look at that. Do you know what? It still doesn't feel that heavy. Good weight distribution with the design of the bag. There you go. Look at that. Do you know what? It's actually quite comfy. Probably easier once you've got a little bit of weight inside. Cassandra's setting me a challenge now. This is like a jewellery maker buckaroo. <laughs> <laughs> See, <laughs> See how much we can fit in. But there you go. Look, she brought me three toolkits, which I know. And, and we've already got that big bag of wire in there. Easily fitted in. In fact, there you go. This is quite interesting the actual length of two two toolkits so that's a good uh, way to judge it uh -huh. that no, well nice no kind yeah. of awkward but i uh, i like that oh hello <laughs> perfect this is no challenge for this bag this is easy and somebody's texting margaret from faith where my uncle and auntie live. It says, morning all. What I like about the bag is that it has gusseted pockets oh, for even yeah. more storage. Be, be good. Margot, if I've almost finished my Christmas, there you go, you see. Margaret's not messing around with Christmas. Uh, Natasha's also texting. I love the interaction this morning. This is what we want. It's not our show. It's your show. If you want to see something, if you want to share a top tip, or if you just want to eulogise about your new storage bag, then text into 60777. Natasha has wrote, great, got mine. When's JM bringing out the JM suitcase? Do you know what? <laughs> Do you know, is Natasha in that workshop room by any chance? Because I just had that conversation with the workshop attendees before the show went live, because you know what everybody brings to their craft fairs? The little um, suitcases with the trolley, on, yeah, the little, on uh, yeah, the ones that you can pull along. Absolutely. You, it's only a matter of time, Natasha, in, in my opinion. You can see over half the stock's now been allocated. In fact, 300 individual bags have now been allocated. I'll take it off the desk for you, Cassandra, so you can put this there whenever you want. Um, lots and lots of people flying through to get hold of this. You can see that we've actually given ourselves a little bit of a... a Producer D's just smashed the brand new phone that's been put in the gallery. That's how shocked she is about the number of people coming through on the phone lines. And I should just say, uh, still, I'm not sure the actual quantity bar is 
keeping up with us because there are so many people multi buying this item so I probably wouldn't take that at face value and if you are interested in this item I'd get involved as quickly as possible um, okay so my producer just give me an update there's probably more like 199 left rather than 222 the, the quantity bar just can't keep up with the demand this morning that just goes to show how busy we are but also how fantastic this bag is because so many familiar names coming through on the uh, the little telephone board there so that just goes to show me that experienced and regular jewelry makers can see the value in investing in this probably the largest bag we've ever brought you a storage solution brilliant for transporting your design if you're going to a festival, how many of these are we going to see in that workshop room from now on? Everybody's just going to bring everything they need in this. And actually, June has just texted in to say she has bought seven. I know I will use them all. Oh. I like the fact you can put your uh, necklace board in it. Yes, absolutely. There you go. That's found that that was almost uh, written in the stars, wasn't it? There, but it was indeed. I will say, as this board. I bet you could fit more than one of your necklace boards in there, actually. You know what? You could get your necklace board and your macrame disc um, and your kumahimo disc all in there. No problem. Have we got any of those lying around? Sorry. Am I just creating a job for people now? <laughs> oh, no. Look at the, Cassandra was one step ahead of me. She wasn't waiting around. She was like, I've got them. I've got them, sunshine. She's there. She's you there. You want to test me, do you? Here we go, then. So you'll get your macrame. No problem. You can't phase my and, storage bag. And there's still room for that bottle of wine, Ed, around the yeah, other side. it's good work. <laughs> so look, turn it right, yeah. Let me just show you, because you can still, still loads of room. get that in there as well. So you don't even, you can fit all of those in one compartment. This is fantastic. I dread to think how heavy it would be if Sheila and Linda were going out <laughs> with their bags, all them bottles of wine That's clinking together. That's why we need a trolley. <laughs> what a <laughs> colourful trolley. Yeah. That would be amazing, wouldn't fantastic. it? Fantastic, I'm going to yeah. suggest that. As I say, if you want to get involved with this deal, we actually have fewer than 200 remaining in stock. And a lot of people still need to check out their baskets. Otherwise, you run the risk of missing out. Because actually, do you know what? The last three, four phone buyers have all multi-bought this. Everybody's taken two, so congratulations to Anne. Uh, Jean, you've got two. Pauline, you've got two as well. So, um, you know, as people come through to multi-buy this, of course, if you leave it in your um, basket, your online basket, then you do run the risk of missing out. The reason I say that is because placing it in your basket doesn't guarantee the item. It's just a signal of intent. It's really sort of first to check out who will receive the item. So if you leave it sitting in your basket, and we had an influx of phone buyers, you can miss out on your deal. Make sure you check out to avoid disappointment. Lola, you've just come through. Congratulations, you've got two of these heading your way. Hamida has texted in to say, Hi, Ed and the team. I have all the bag, all three bags now, sorry. I hope you will have one on wheels soon. There you go, Sheila. Definitely. Everybody wants that transport. I've got mine on wheels, but it's plastic. Is it? Oh, yes, yes. Foldable. Absolutely. Yeah, so we just need a little jewellery maker need, solution do, like that, yeah. don't we? We do. Kate's texted in as well to say, I got one as soon as they launched. Hubby just said, get another one. Love him. There you go. That, that's real love, Kate. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, if you do want to add one of these to, to your order, they are going to be available online now that we've launched them. But of course, I don't think there'll be too many remaining at 9am tomorrow morning. So if I were you, add it to your order right now. Don't miss out. And of course, if you do want to multi-buy, we always aim to be your one-stop shop for all your jewellery making needs. We want to be seen as more of sort of your crafting wholesaler. So we're never going to limit you to individual items. You can add as many items to your order as you wish. And of course, you're only ever going to pay one PMP per day. So nothing to worry about there. I would probably get to now to avoid disappointment because you're probably going to need another one in a couple of months' time, and then you'll have to pay a subsequent P&P, &P and we might not have it in stock. So that's probably why so many people are multi-buying. And uh, yeah, as I say, not just twos, threes, fours, fives. Somebody got seven. That's the record so far. If you do want to get involved with this deal, you know what to do. Dial the free phone, and we're going to come through to our very talented help team. 
and uh, they'll add it to your order. Alternatively, and probably the most efficient way to shop from us is to do so at jewelrymaker.com. And as I say, all you've got to do is click to buy now, but make sure you check out your basket to avoid disappointment. Two thirds of the stock has now been allocated, and it's just, um, as I say, just a bit more of a generic item. So if you don't know what the jewellery maker in your life does tend to focus on this would be a fantastic gift if you are a jewellery maker i'm sure you can already appreciate the potential of an item like this flying out the door at 19.95 please make sure that you are coming through on the phone lines because i'm being told that we probably have fewer than 100 remaining in stock and uh, Dory has just come through, so 141 or something like that we've got remaining in stock. So I'm really sorry about that, but we've just got so much demand, the quantity bar can't quite keep up, so it's not 100% accurate. Um, Dory can't fault the quality of all the bags I've brought from JN, and I can see that this one will be the same. Can't wait for the trolley bag, Dory, there you go. This, this started as a bit of a joke, but now I'm thinking we're going to have to pitch this I to think, uh, Paula think, and Hannah, who are... Our buying team here at Jewelry Maker. I think we're going to have to get one of these suitcases pretty soon, aren't we? Um, I don't think we'd have too much uh, problem selling it anyway, because everybody seems to need these. I suppose the thing is, what they're is twofold, aren't they? Because they provide you with a storage solution and a transport solution. Well, yeah, and also they're they're sort of compact and keep everything in their place as well. Hmm. Absolutely. Same as the bag does, really. I mean, if you look at the bag now, how everything's fitted in there so well. Yep. But a, a trolley would just allow you to take a hell of, hell of a lot more. Fantastic. There you go. As I say, fewer than 150 remaining in stock, but the Conti bag can't keep up with us. Um, we're probably getting close to double figures. We started with over 500 of these bags, and this just goes to show how popular an item like this is going to be for jewellery makers. Maybe you're in two minds, maybe you're new to jewellery making, maybe you bought your first jewellery making kit this week and you're just getting started with the hobby. If that's the case and you can't quite recognise the value of this, trust me, in about eight weeks time you're going to be thinking, I need two of those storage bags, that's just what happens for jewellery makers. Once you get started with a hobby like this, it does tend to take over a little bit, but don't panic because here at Jewelry Maker, we offer you the greatest value on the market. And as you can see, not just for genuine gemstones, but also for your component parts, the mechanics of your designs, and also your storage solution. So absolutely fantastic. The biggest bag we have ever brought you and its official launch has been and gone. 1995, but it does look like it could be a sellout this morning, so I would check out your basket if I were you. That's just my advice. I'm not trying to put any pressure on anybody, but I don't want anybody to miss out either. Now, um, that's a great way for us to have started the show, but the treats continue, so you are going to be able to add to that one P and P per day all morning long, particularly with Sheila's fantastic feather designs. Now, these kit and boutique bundles have been created with um, the idea of highlighting this current trend of using different mediums within your design such as feathers and you can see that it gives Sheila's design here a completely new dimension something very very special and um, I'm really really impressed with that that's not all we have of course as I say premier strands Multicolored beryl, it's essentially aquamarine and morganite, if I'm honest with you. There might be the odd bit of goshenite on that strand as well. We've also got some of your crackled quartz, which are going to be perfect for the winter designs that people might be starting to plan for the party season, perhaps. Maybe bridal commissions as well. And that multicolored tiger's eye coming up very, very soon as well. So probably just half an hour before we launch, I would say... I would say the nicest, or certainly the highest quality strand of beryl that I have ever launched here at Jewelry Maker. It's just exceptional. That's coming up in 30 minutes' time. First of all, though, we're going to give uh, Sheila a little bit of a challenge. Is that right? Now, there's so many beautiful products in today's show. 
Sheila couldn't make her mind up. Is that right? <laughs> I've <laughs> changed I'm, three times. You've changed three <laughs> times. What you're going to do is you challenge. So um, the idea is that we take our designer out of their comfort zone and set them a little on-screen brief and see what they can come up with during the live hours. Not always easy because I'm consistently distracting them. And uh, tonight, this morning, I was going to say tonight. You <laughs> can see I'm a late show presenter. Uh, this morning's no different, um, but we have let she'll have a little bit of input into what she is being challenged and she's changed her mind <laughs> so now we're going to go for the monochrome kit and i like this one it's um a sort of classic look isn't it the monochrome effect and the reason i love this is because it's softened up here with a little bit of a transitional strand Quite 1920s, isn't it? Absolutely, sort of flapper mm. girl, yeah, isn't it? Which will yeah. be very in keeping with the feathers that we have yeah. this morning, won't it? Perfect. So you've got your snowflake obsidian, which comes to you. I'm just going to try and find the carrot weight for you. My apologies. 30 carats in total. There you go. So four millimeter rounds. Love this gemstone. Very dramatic. Kind of um, kind of soft and softer monochrome effect because it's the silver tones rather than the whites on mm -hmm. the blacks there so slightly toned down but still very elegant and dramatic and that is a uh, essentially sort of lava so obsidian tells a real story of mother nature's intensity if you like then you've got 70 carats of your black rutile quartz another very popular gemstone both with jewelry designers for that dramatic effect and real gemstone collectors as well very rare to find a gemstone actually prized for its inclusions and more often than not inclusions in a gemstone are either seen as a hindrance by uh, certain designers or they're really more to do with providing them with depth of color here it is giving you the character within the gemstone those beautiful rutilations actually provided by tourmaline inclusions actually that's where it comes from and i just love this I always describe it the same way, so if you are a regular viewer, you, I might sound like a bit of a broken record, but we do have lots of new buyers every day, and my, inter my personal interpretation of it is that it almost looks like Japanese art, yeah. the inclusions, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I, it almost looks like um, paintbrush strokes inside the gemstone, placed there by Mother Nature herself, so I, I love the gemstone because I have a passion for gemstones and gemology, and uh, there's going to be a lot of collectors out there that share that passion. On top of that, these are little faceted diamonds, which is quite interesting because I know that bicones are very, very popular. This is a very similar shape, only slightly more dynamic angles to it, so I think that's going to be popular because we don't see the cut very often. I think and then for me, tying it all together are these beautiful silver pearls. Slight irregularities to the size, and they are seven by six millimeters. But because you get those ir irregularities in the shape, you can see that these are the real McCoy. So there's so many faux pearls available on the market. I think working with the more organic varieties that do have those slight irregularities will provide you with credibility within your designs because your customers will be able to appreciate that you are sourcing genuine cultured pearls and at a time when cultured pearls are actually a little bit uh, more difficult to get hold of across the industry we're not having too much of a problem because we've been working with the same pearl suppliers for a decade in fact through our connections with our sister channel gems tv which is in fact 10 this week so it'll be 10 years old this week so working with the same suppliers for a long long time and that allows us to not only negotiate you know very competitive prices and pass those savings on to you but also to gain useful industry knowledge and we pass that on to you as well we're never going to hold anything back from you here at the genuine gemstone company and on top of those three gorgeous strands of gemstones, you can see how well they're, they're going to work together because they're the blacks and whites, the monochromes. You're also getting your feathers here. So this is our first little delve into the, uh, the idea of integrating feathers into your design. You get quite a few here. Is it a set number or is it a weight or something? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I think yes, it's, it's uh, two packs. Ten here, pieces yeah. in each pack and you've got two packs here. So you're going to get 20 of these gorgeous uh, pheasant feathers and they are black and white so they're going to be perfect in this they are between five and seven centimeters so quite a uh, quite a distinctive look but not going to necessarily overpower quite, your design quite a delicate yeah yeah absolutely Very 
Mm. They're just something so different, aren't they? Yeah. And actually, do you know what? Just have a look at this. What I was saying about the rutilations there looking like paintbrush strokes, it's almost mirrored in another of Mother Nature's creations on these feathers. Mm. There you go. Look at this. This is fantastic, isn't it? So there you go. You get 20 Very of good. those as part of this kit. Normally you get 10 in a pack, so we put two packs in there for you to give you, I suppose, more creative scope and that's what it's really about isn't it flexibility and versatility we also have um, a reel of your s on cord is that what we're looking at here oh no it's just the wax cord my apologies uh, now that i look a bit closer i can see the finish it is the wax cord so silver wax cord 0.6 mil and you get a 10 meter reel then you've got your findings. 115 pieces of silver plated copper this morning, including a meter of chain, those very sought after ribbon cord endings, three different kinds of head pins, including the 0.3 millimeter finer ones that will go through the smaller drill holes, your jump rings, your crimp beads, your spacers, your toggle clasps, your slider clasp, and your shepherd hooks as well. So everything you could possibly need to create a gorgeous set of jewelry. And I like the idea of using the silver tones with the blacks and whites because again it just ties it all together and gives it a real feeling of elegance and sophistication for me very in keeping with that sort of 1920s style jewelry that we might see Sheila creating so this is Sheila's challenge this morning and I have to say it's a real head turner let's have a look at our price point this morning say again sorry also if you were to buy all of these items individually and that includes genuine cultured pearls two packs of your monochrome feathers, you've got your cord there, 115 pieces of silver plated copper, then you've got your rutile quartz and your snowflake obsidian as well, normally would cost you 34.15 which already represents the best value on the market, but we're going to take it down to bargain town and make this very, very accessible this morning at 21.95. That is the way to be maximising on your 1 p.m. per day if you are one of the 400 people that already invested in a craft bag this morning. Then why not add this to your order for just 21.95? Three strands of gorgeous gemstones and your feathers there. And just to be... Uh, clear if you do want to get hold of feathers this morning there are no individual items they are coming to you as part great value from us this morning because of course you're going to get your gemstones your findings and your threading materials along with it so the idea behind our kits is that they contain everything you need to get started with the hobby but as we've developed as a channel we also see it as an opportunity for experienced jewelry makers to replenish all of their stocks at once and of course to do it at a wholesale price so you can see here that you're saving over 10 pounds by investing in this um, any ideas oh I was just gonna say any ideas Sheila but she's well underway she's wire wrapping <laughs> feathers and pearls onto a hair comb already a little bit of the old tiara twist technique there I believe is that right it is indeed I haven't got a silver comb though, so I couldn't find one. Ah, so, so you put it, but it actually, it might look quite dramatic on the gold tone yeah. with the blacks and whites. Well, it? that's right. Yeah. So yeah. Well, I'm only just starting, so. Fantastic. So Sheila's already well underway and we're going to be picking up with Sheila a little bit later in the show to see what she's been creating. Uh, before that, though, we are going to bring you another deal on my right. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. Now we just touched upon the value of the pearls we can bring you here at Jury Maker and the reason why. To bring you genuine culture pearls is always going to be exciting because pearls are probably one of the most versatile minerals within jewelry making I suppose. They're synonymous with high-end bridal wear and evening designs if you think about sort of a sort of timeless sophistication very reminiscent of sort of Audrey Hepburn and I like aren't they but oh. then at the same time if you're strolling down the high street and you have a look in your accessory stores pearls are often included in everyday pieces as I, well I think pearls are now that they're, 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 they've been here for so long but I think they've just got more and more and more popular and I think Absolutely. they're at their height now you know pearls are everywhere and a part of everybody's jewelry 
wardrobe absolutely in 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 big quantities absolutely and the thing that you will find on the open market is that there's so many faux pearls available absolutely. but it does distort the market you, a little yeah, doesn't yeah, it yeah. we bring you genuine cultured pearls here at jewelry maker and as i just touched upon we've been working with the same pearl suppliers for about a decade now and so what they're basically telling us is that new legislation has been placed upon the industry it is affecting the production of cultured pearls and we've actually seen quite a dramatic decrease in the cultivation of pearls since this legislation was introduced as high as 40 percent decrease across the industry and so unfortunately we are expecting to see an increase a bit of a hike in the price on cultured pearls moving forward now we were told this information probably two or three months ago and we opened up to share that with you but I'm yet to really see a dramatic increase here at Jewelry Maker. We were already offering you the most competitive price on the market as far as my research can tell and you can be paying three figure sums for cultured pearl jewellery from, I, from designers elsewhere. I actually nearly had those this morning but I thought no. You were going to snap these I was, up as I was your gonna, challenge yeah, were you? Yeah I was but I thought no I'll let because you're, you're a huge fan of pearls, aren't they? I am. You're a massive advocate of it. But it. And they are quite synonymous with your preferred genre of jewellery design. Think about bride wear, vintage designs. Yeah, yeah. I, I just, I mean, I love, I love all gemstones, and I really, really honestly do when I say that. I really do. But pearls go with so much, and they're, they're great for just going out for a morning coffee with a friend. They're great for going out for lunch. You know what I mean? They, they, they look classy no matter whether they're just strung simply. Do you know what the interesting thing about what you're describing there? You're talking about how you feel as the wearer rather yes. than the designer. Yeah. And so that, if that mineral can actually transport you to a place where you're already wearing it, I think that's something you know that will add to your designs. Yeah. You know you're onto a winner if the second you see them, you can imagine wearing them. Well, I've I've got a. a a necklace at home that I've had for a long time mm -hmm. and I think pearls get passed down don't they Absolutely. and and I think that's what's so lovely they've been felt and touched by so many generations oh, yes. you know and and they just have a feeling to them anyway and I've got one that sort of um, drops down and it's sort of got about four four strands on a on a like a cascade down the mm. front and I've had so many people compliment it and it looks lovely with a black sweater just with it with a, a, a denim black with going out in the evening so they are so multifunctional and I just I can't say enough about them well absolutely <laughs> but you know what that's really what working with genuine gemstones and mm. you know these organic minerals mm. is all about Absolutely. because yeah. if somebody can feel that impassioned about it, I mean you wouldn't hear somebody talking with that amount of passion about a piece of plastic that had been painted these no. colors would you these are the real deal hand carved by mother nature herself and as i say the very slight irregularities in the size and the shape that you have on these strands actually adds to your credibility as a designer i love the color combination here because they almost look like they're the same but they're not they're probably the two ends of the spectrum of one color tone that beautiful feminine peach color so you've got quite a solid almost a sort of apricot peachy tone there and then you've got the light peach here which is more of a sort of champagne shimmer if you like so they're but definitely both peach but just to give you an idea the pearl essence on these is a little more of that sort of golden tone whereas here it's more of that um apricot tone if you like so slightly different color saturation but actually that will mean that they'll work brilliantly together in design so this is quite a, a coherent bundle of pearls here because you could use these together or you could use them just to replenish your stocks of pearls I suppose. Great I mean as I say many a time that you know um, the colours that you have in, in bridesmaids these days vary so much and, and peach um, I wore peach when I was a bridesmaid my daughter Sarah she did yes. and, and I think nowadays um, especially in the summertime you have that lovely um, mm. peach colour that's yes. so popular it is, and it goes it? lovely yeah. with the ivory dresses you know the bride Absolutely. champagne and it, I, I looked at them this morning and I thought they are beautiful. Well, you've sort of instantly been transported to bridal jewellery, and as you say, it's a very popular colour for bridal parties, bridesmaids. It's often, as you say, 
because it's very soft and feminine, it's complementary to the whites that the bride often wears. Do, uh, well, and, and, yeah. and sometimes what, what people do with bridesmaids now, they'll have like a chocolate brown colour for one bridesmaid and then maybe a peach for another bridesmaid. Right, yes. And all the, the sort of matching tones that, that sort of go together. Absolutely. So, yeah. There you go. You can't and, go and wrong with these. And, of course, pearls do have sort of quite strong associations with bridal wear and weddings and sort of traditional folklore suggests that pearls will stop the bridal party from crying on the big day. Aww. It doesn't work because <laughs> my sister and all of her bridesmaids were wearing pearls and they were all bawling their eyes out in May so <laughs> uh, maybe it'll work for you but it didn't work on that occasion so yes that's the uh, traditional folklore but of course that means that they are instantaneously connected to brides and wedding parties and so pearls synonymous with that style of designs but also with classic vintage designs and everyday contemporary designs I always say you can actually uh, wear pearls whether you're 8 or 88 and I remember when I first started presenting I did bring in photographic evidence of this because I uh, brought in a picture of my daughter making her first Holy Communion and every single generation of woman in our family who's in the photo is wearing pearls. pearls. So my mum, her grandma's wearing pearls, her mum's wearing pearls, her auntie's wearing pearls and she's wearing pearls all in the one day. So that's interesting isn't it because sometimes I come into the office and everybody is wearing their stud pearl earrings, pearls in fact you're wearing pearl earrings today, today Sheila. Yeah. And, um, and then when it's time for a special event everybody gets their pearls out. They so do, yeah. It says it all, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, really? absolutely. So if you do want to invest in this, you do need to be getting on the phone lines early. You've seen how busy we are this morning. From minute one, we had around about 100 or 200 people on the phone lines to get hold of the storage bag. And we're now going to give you a clearance deal on the pearls. Really, double figures remaining on the uh, shopping bag now. So if you do want to get hold of that, have a look or dial the free phone number still available at the bottom of the screen. We're having a little bit of a technical difficulty with our graphics. Shall I just uh, read the code out? X, X U G C X Ray Uniform Golf Charlie One Seven. That is the code. If you are watching online, you can simply uh, punch that into the little search box that you've got online or of course you can dial the free phone number XUGC17 is the code to quote to your operator when you come through to the help team and they will add this bundle of pearls to your order this morning for 11.95 less than six pounds per strand these are genuine cultured pearls and I happen to know for a fact that you can pay more than that for faux pearls from other suppliers and there you go they're back anyway very apt timing there. <laughs> Eleven ninety-five was there in two different varieties, and once again, huge number of people multi-buying on this deal. The reason I get so excited about people multi-buying is not just because it shows that you're quite savvy and that you're maximising on your one p and p per day, but also it really reinforces for me the idea that there are people out there turning their hobby into a small business and doing what they love. To do. For a living. Yes, exactly. Which I love the idea of that. And of course, if you are gaining personal commissions, you know you're onto a winner with pearls, particularly in these very feminine tones, the two peach colours there. Um, 11 out of 12. Congratulations, Jane. You've got two. Rena, you've got three. So, congratulations. Lots and lots of people coming through to multi buy there. And if you are placing them in your basket, as ever, you do need to check out to avoid disappointment. How many of this bundle did we actually have in stock? Only double figures of availability, I'm afraid. We didn't even have 100 of this bundle. You've seen how quickly over 400 bags can fly out the door. So if you do want to get hold of these, act quickly to avoid disappointment. So I don't say this to put any pressure on anybody. Of course, it's up to you. But just to avoid disappointment, why not? use your 30 day money back guarantee, get them home and then make an informed decision. Okay, we're gonna leave that one there and we're actually gonna find out what you've been creating because we're gonna head over now to the Wall of Fame.
Good morning and welcome to the Wall of Fame here on Drew Maker. If you have just tuned in, then uh, there are only a limited number of the crafting uh, shopping bag available. I keep wanting to say storage bag, so we've only got double figs available. So if you are just tuning in, get on the phone lines quickly if you want to get hold of that bag. We are now having a look at some of your designs and uh, Sheila's going to kick us off. Right, look at this. This is number 19 and look it's at like the bottom there, highly commended. Yes. So this is from Jeanette and Jeanette's in Essex. Jeanette says, um, hi all, last weekend I entered my wirework jewellery into an arts and crafts exhibition and received a highly commended certificate and £15 prize. Oh, I was very chuffed. Now the certificate sits in the sewing shop where I do my jewellery classes. Oh, how lovely is that? Oh, I think Jeanette. we should have a round of us. Oh, for indeed. Jeanette. Very good. Well, well done, Jeanette. Highly commended that's awards. Fabulous. That's great, isn't it? Look at that little peacock. Peacock Beautiful. and a See little uh, seahorse as well. Then yeah. sort of um, iconic images and motifs within jewellery yeah, making, aren't they? Yeah, that's fabulous. That's well beautiful. done. Oh, tell you what. I know the abalone shell is working perfectly there, but a few yeah. feathers in that wire work as well might <gasps> be gorgeous. They? Yes. <laughs> it's coming up, it's coming up. Um, I've got number 22, gorgeous earring designs here. They've been sent in by Sylvia from Carlisle. It says, please find my entry. These earrings were inspired by Mark. So I think that's Mark Smith, our expert designer. It says, I hope they are good enough. I'm looking forward to being at the Sun Experience this weekend. Oh. Are you doing? Are you hosting I, that tomorrow? I don't tomorrow? think I am. No? I was on last have I, week. I worried you now. <laughs> well, I, yes, actually, because I'm thinking, is Linda back? Is Hannah here? So I'll have to check, actually. Well, I'm not sure Just if it's it, Linda or be. Hannah. Um, yeah. Or it could even be could she. Even she be doesn't me. even know. I don't uh, but yes, OK, then we'll see you tomorrow, <laughs> then, Sylvia. If you want to get involved with our Sunday experience, then speak to a member of our help team, and they will put you on the waiting list. And you can come down here one Sunday morning and... Have a bit of fun, eat some cake and Lots get your designs cake. on air. Number 22 is Sylvia's design and we'll see you tomorrow. So, right, ooh, we've got some chain This mail is here. right up my street, Sheila. You I love a bit chain of chainmail. This is number 20 and it's sort of purple, lilacs and silvers, isn't gorgeous. it? Gorgeous. Gorgeous, goes together so well. And this is from Donna in Stafford. Um, and Donna says, hi all at JM. This is a chainmail bracelet that I have made for this week's Wall of Fame. I hope you like it. Well, we certainly do. It's beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. I do like chainmail, but I don't think mine would look as good as that. Um, I've got number 23 here, beautiful colours, tones. Uh, this has been put together by Jackie. It says, this is a, a crocheted turquoise with wire wrap cabochon. It's my entry um, for this week's Wall of Fame. I will hopefully get better with more practice and tips from fantastic. your fab designers. This is from fantastic. Jackie in Huddersfield. That's I think fantastic. it's pretty gorgeous as it is. Absolutely. Get any better. Yeah, I know, that's fabulous. The designers are going to be shaking in their boots. Uh, number 23. And I should just be clear, all of the entries do get entered into the prize draw. So if you don't see a design, don't panic. You're still in the draw. Um, and that will be made on Wednesday. Could win £50 or £100 added to your jewellery maker account. Uh, this is number 21. This is beautiful. This is really lovely. Uh, and it's a brooch and it's from Mel. Um, and Mel says, Hi JM, here is my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. It's a brooch made from 1mm gold plated copper wire wrapped with a, a 0.4 raw copper wire. The gems are emerald, smoky quartz and blue crackled quartz, all bought from JM. My first attempt at a wire work piece. Well, that's fantastic, and I hope you like it. I'm hoping for a win, as I would love to come on a course. <laughs> oh, Good luck to all in this week's draw. Love and best wishes from Mel. That's, that's, if that's your first attempt, that's fabulous. Well that done. is out of this that's world, fabulous. isn't it? fabulous. Love that. Wow. Very impressive. Um, if you want to enter the Wall of Fame, then simply send your designs in. You will be entered into the prize draw. We're going to go to a quick break. When we return, we are going to launch what I perceive to be the highest quality strand of beryl I've ever brought you here at Jewelry Maker. It is out of this world. Jewelry quality gemstones and they will be launched in two minutes time. Don't move a muscle, we'll be back in two. are having a web exclusive sale on 95 sterling silver 
head over to our website now and take advantage of up to 75% off. All stock must go, but be quick because if you miss it, you'll miss out. Join guest designer Debbie Kershaw for the introduction to stamping DVD. Debbie will guide you through many techniques including basic stamping, spacing, multiple wording, stamping onto metal blanks and polymer clay. To get your hands on a copy, contact our call centre. Get creative with Jewellery Maker. Here at Jewellery Maker, we love seeing your jewellery creations, learning about your inspiration and reading your blogs. If you write your own craft or jewellery blog, then we'd love to hear from you. Simply tweet us at jewellery underscore maker UK with your blog link and we'll be in touch. Jewellery Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to put towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. It's the versatility. You can do anything with wire work. You can, you can make very delicate pieces. You can make huge, great big structural pieces. You've got so many different gauges to use. And we've got the twisted wire. You've got all the colors in it. It is absolutely amazing. I mean, if you go on the website, the range of, of products you've got in the wire, it's phenomenal. You've got something for everything. So if you're doing very delicate jewelry and you can make it so, so delicate with the 0.25 wires for wrapping, or you could do something like me with a big structural piece and you're using the 1.5 and the 1.25 wires for your frames and then all the ranges in between. It, it's just, I, I enjoy it. <laughs> I love it. It, it. it is, it's fantastic. Um, you can keep going forever. You can do whatever. The, there's nothing that you can imagine that you can't make out of wire. Not that I've found yet anyway. Do you have a question that you need answering? Well, did you know you can ask to speak to an accredited jewellery professional in our call centre? Trained by the GIA, you can ask us any gemological question and we'll do our best to help. We don't just sell gemstones, we know gemstones. That's why when you buy from us, you're buying with confidence. Buy your genuine gemstones from genuine accredited jewellery professionals. Welcome back to Jewelry Maker. Time now for, well, a real privilege in actual fact. Easy for me to say with a polo in my mouth. Um, <laughs> um, actually, I have to say this is one of the finest quality strands, maybe of any gemstone I've brought you, but certainly of your multicolored barrel. And when we say that, talking about quite an interesting gemstone family actually um, the only gemstone family named after its chemical composition because it's uh, beryllium and it is a little bit longer actually the name and I, I can't say it all right now <laughs> uh, it's like aluminium beryllium or something but anywho um, the only gemstone family named after its chemical composition and what you actually get is slight variations in certain elements and that gives you the variations within the family. So you have um, a base chemical composition and then maybe a higher amount of iron will give you aquamarine and that's when you get this beautiful sky blue tone here. Or of course, maybe it's manganese and then you get this beautiful pastel pink tone from your morganite. If you have vanadium, for example, or chromium, then you're going to get different varieties of emerald, which are also part of this beryl family. Now, on this particular strand, we don't have any emerald, actually, I don't believe. But what we do have is some of the finest quality morganite and aquamarine that we have ever brought you. And the quality, for me, is evident in the way in which it's been faceted. Because when you are faceting 
a gemstone that's this delicate. I mean, these droplets range in size from five by four to six by four. So they're, they're essentially all the same size. You're not gonna be able to see that millimeter of difference with the naked eye, but of course we always like to be as accurate as possible here at Jewelry Maker. And I mean, you don't have to do a great deal of work with these. The gemstone itself is going to enhance your designs. It's gonna give you a level of sophistication and quality that you may not usually associate with craft work or handmade jewelry design. This is the kind of gemstone that's gonna elevate you into that next level where we're talking about bespoke jewelry design as opposed to crafting, in my I'm opinion. Almost, I'm looking at them thinking, if you catch them in a the light, they're, they're like diamonds. They're so sparkly, aren't they? They are, yeah. They are exquisite. The interesting thing for me about these gemstones is that when you do get examples of beryllium, often you will find silk-like inclusions, particularly inside morganite, and that gives you the depth of colour. But here, the inclusions aren't actually affecting the delicacy of the gemstone, but you still have that gorgeous colour saturation. Now, we actually have a very special relationship with morganite here at the Genuine Gemstone Company because the owner of the company and uh, Sheila's son-in-law, Mr. Steve Bennett, is actually the proud owner of the largest cut morganite in the world. And just to give you an idea, it's about the size of my face. <laughs> it's very, very large and um, exquisitely cut. It does sort of give us a special insight into how prestigious this gemstone is. Alongside that, you've got one of the most traditional gemstones available as its sister stone, aquamarine. And of course, some of the more traditional jewellery designs that people would have invested in the past would have featured aquamarine. It is traditionally the gemstone that you would give as an engagement ring long before somebody came up with a marketing campaign 50 years ago and told us all we had to buy diamonds, aquamarine was the gemstone of choice. And it still is very popular. In fact, it's the gemstone for your 19th wedding anniversary, for example. Often a neglected one, I suppose, because people focus on the 20th. But also, we know for a fact that blue gemstones are some of the most popular colors you can work with. They tend to draw more attention. Most people tend to invest in blue gemstones when they're starting their particular gemstone collection. And if you're working with these, you really are elevating the standards with which you provide your customers because they are so exquisite. I would actually argue that normally, as jewellery makers, we can probably apply a slightly broader criteria when we're judging 25 carats across the strand. And they are cut exquisitely. Gorgeous, faceted, top drilled drops. I mean, all you need is two of these on a, a pair of earring findings and you could probably say what? On sterling silver, 20 pounds and you've only used two gemstones? That's the kind of quality we're talking about here. I would expect to see these set into at least nine carat gold elsewhere. Lots and lots of people already coming through for these. These have been promoted on the show. We did let everybody have a heads up that this was coming up because it is some of the finest quality beryl we have ever brought you. And I have to say, we're ever likely to bring you because I don't think the quality of the beryl could get much better here at Jewelry Maker. I could be wrong. And um, I hope I'm wrong, but I have to say, these are pretty much ticking every box for me. And here is our premier launch price this morning, 47.95. As I say, this could be for the collectors out there. It may be for elite jewelry makers who are working on personal commissions. Maybe you've started to move even beyond the traditional craft fairs and you work on one basis with your these are the kind of gemstones that are gonna clinch you those deals. And of course, it can be quite an interesting experience to work with your customers in that way, to sit down on a one-on-one -on -one basis and maybe let them be involved in the design process. Of course, you've got March's birthstone here. It may be that in the new year, you want to start gaining more personal commissions and of course, it does give you the time to invest in 
more creative and detailed pieces of jewellery. 47.95 for some of the finest quality aquamarine and morganite we have ever brought you here at Jewellery Maker and some of the most revered gemstones on the planet. We are going to leave that one with you because it is very, very limited. It's a limited edition strand, so if you do want to add that jewellery, you need to act with a little bit of urgency. But of course, you've got a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk involved. Now, um, if you do enjoy working with very high-end gemstones, don't panic because we do have some more coming up to be launched on this morning's show, these gorgeous is coming from our cut collection I mean, they're just out of this world aren't they they're coming up uh, very very soon but before that we're going to bring you an essential component piece now these are your little spacer beads and these are actually very very versatile because I can see these being used in both male and female jewellery designs in fact I mean you could imagine this with some of our leather cord in a macrame bracelet I would wear that Absolutely, and um, you'd probably be looking at what ten pounds for that at a craft fair. Two hundred pieces here—a wholesale deal on your little copper crimp bead covers. But uh, as I say, you could probably use these as spacer beads as well. They are four millimeters in size, so we do use the four mil rounds in the macrame designs, don't we? And uh, I love the colour tone as well because, again, you can use these to take your designs in a variety of different ways. You can either use them in quite contemporary sort of masculine designs, quite sort of uh, industrial looking designs, maybe the steampunk genre, for example. Or you can use them as spaces in a classic design to make your gemstones go that little bit further. Uh, I'll just show you the drill hole, as I say, they are classified as crimp bead covers, but um, I think they could be used as beads in their own right, really. Gunmetal tone, 200 in total, 4 millimetres in size, and an added to your order price this morning of 8.95. As I say, oh, supposed to be 8.95, but um, regular viewers will know what producer Dion's like. She's a like law unto herself. And so it's our job, of course, to allow you to maximise on that one PMP per day by bringing you as many jewellery making opportunities as possible and all of a sudden people who had already got involved early on this deal are now coming back to multi buy so congratulations if you're coming through to take twos and threes of this 200 of these for just 6.95 absolutely incredible And, oh right, sorry, I, I didn't know what you were saying there. So there's a short queue on the phone lines. We are very, very busy this morning, probably because about three or 400 people came through to get the uh, shopping bag first thing. And so everybody's got their order up and running. You can add these to your order for just 6.95 and maximize on that one p and per day. The queue on the phone lines are around about 40 seconds, so nothing to worry about. It is, of course, a free phone number here at Jewelry Maker uh, from a landline. Second, sorry? Oh, okay. Um, it is escalating though, so please try to get involved as quickly as possible to avoid disappointment. Around about 60 second wait on the phone lines. And of course, if this is your first purchase from us here at Jewelry Maker, then you can get involved. Um, you don't need to worry if you're thinking, I don't actually know how to do any of these techniques, don't panic. If it's your first order, you're going to get you're uh, getting started, that's the words I'm looking for. <laughs> Got there in the end, getting started, DVD and no, booklet. I know, you know, like Stuart said, I didn't realise there was a 9 a.m. I'm usually the late show presenter, so uh, yes, this is quite early for me. Um, getting started, DVD, about an hour's worth of the fundamental techniques you'll need to get started with this hobby. And um, in fact, even if you're not making a purchase from us this morning, why not give us a call? If you've been watching for a few weeks and you haven't quite taken the plunge yet, why not give us a call, set up your account. You don't have to make a purchase and we'll send you these out free of charge and you can just get an idea for how easy it actually is to achieve these techniques. Put it this way, I've managed to do some of them, so if I can do them, anyone can do them. Um, we are going to leave that one with you at just 6.95. Don't forget, any price reductions that you see here on the channel 
on the morning show will only be available until 9am the next day. So, you know, it is probably important that you add this to your order today. Take advantage of the 6.95 price point, and then that way, you'll also be making the most of your one pin beads per day. So there you go. Look at that, how quickly I just put 200 beads away like that. Now, we're going to move on because we're going to bring you another essential finding. This is another item, I think, that does slightly elevate your designs onto the next level. These are your ribbon cord endings. And I think sometimes with the braiding techniques, such as macrame or kumihimo, you can be a little bit in danger of maybe people perceiving it as sort of craft work rather than handmade jewellery design. And I think that's just because people do have those associations with maybe making um, friendship bracelets when they're younger, something like that, perhaps. And the ribbon cord endings actually allow you to give a professional finish to those particular designs. Of course, we've seen them used in very innovative ways on other designs as well. If you think about um, the way Deb Rudge uses them to create the shoulders of a ring design, perhaps. But I think traditionally they are designed to give that professional finish to your braiding bracelets or necklaces, of course. And it's because you get your little cord ends here that just give you a very professional finish. And then you get your very traditional lobster claw clasp. So it's the perfect way to complete those designs. These are really going to elevate your designs because actually I think when people see rose gold plated 95 sterling silver, they'll be expecting to pay a premium for your designs. So you won't be so much on the back foot trying to justify the price point. They'll probably be shocked that you can bring them precious metals for very affordable prices and that's of course thanks to our buying power and the fact that we pass those savings on to you. Now you get three of your extender chains and clasps as part of this and I've just heard that we're going to do a little bit of a price reduction, is that correct? Um, so I'm just going to pick these up just to show you one more time exactly what you're looking at. Okay, so the um, original price is 9.95 this morning we're taking these down to add it to your order price of just 6.95 as i say you do get three of these ribbon cord endings as part of this deal all for 6.95 i mean what are we talking about less than three pounds per finding they're going to add more than three pounds worth of value to your designs instantly aren't they well anytime you work with sterling silver i'm told it does help to justify the price point once you start to overlay that with gold plating and rose gold plating as well you're adding value instantaneously to your design but also you're giving yourself more design options rose gold for me probably for me the most versatile of the metallic tones if you are trying to come through and you're struggling with the item code there the missing letter is a p so it's lxgp98 tell you what gary's out in force today isn't he gary the gremlin he is, isn't he? Is, he? Yes. They've already crashed once, now they're leaving letters out, what's going um, I will just say, yes, um, available until 9am, or, of course, while stocks last, and this is proving to be very, very popular, with a lot of familiar names coming through, multi-buying this deal once again, so if you do want to add this to your order, please act now. You still have your 30-day money-back guarantee, even when we give you a price reduction, so just come through early, add them to your order, and make an informed decision once you get these home. I was just going to say, for me, the real draw behind this finding is the versatility of that rose gold plating. Maybe if you want to inject a little bit of femininity into your designs, it will add that to them because you get that slight rose pink tone. Maybe you want more of a vintage feel. I think that they tend to lend themselves better to vintage designs than the classic silver and yellow gold. And of course, they tend to add a little bit of warmth to the design as well. If you're working with quite cool colour tones in your gemstones, you can maybe add warmth by working with rose gold as well. So, as I say, when we are creating designs, we're looking for versatility. If everybody made the same jewelry, it would be a bit boring. So we know there's lots of different styles out there. We know everybody has a different angle on jewellery design. So we try to give you versatility with the cuts and the findings, the mechanics, if you like. 6 95 is a clearance price. I'm going to leave that one with you and we're going to move on because we're going to go over to Sheila and give you 
your second opportunity of the morning to add feathers to your collection as part of our first jewellery kit because uh, the challenge was kind of like a kit but we haven't really gone through that in depth yet. So uh, I'm just going to go over that. Right, sorry, sorry, Ollie. Um, just, uh, I'm getting ahead of the game. I'm excited. It's That's exactly, it exactly. Ed. I love these feathers, you know. They are, they are so lovely, aren't they? And these are so different to the others we've, um, mm. we've got. They're a bit more they're, um, they're interesting bit, in, in terms of the, the yeah. vibrancy of and colours the co and yeah. the patterns, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, definitely. They're, they're a real good mix of lots of different colours. And, and they all go together quite well, which I've shown you. And, and do you find that when you do have something a little bit quirky, a little bit alternative, a different medium, that it inspires the way you design your jewellery? Well, yes, it does. And... and you know, I think feathers, you can overcomplicate the feathers because feathers are a statement piece in themselves. Mm -hmm. So it's trying to show them off to their best ability, really. And we've got so many different colours and styles now. And, and we first asked for feathers, as you know. Do you know what? I was actually going to tell that story this morning when I was looking at the kits. Yeah. Because on my first day on Jewelry Maker, I used to be a producer on our sister channel, Gems TV. And I came over to help Paula uh, as part of the management structure on Jewellery Maker. This is when we were in our infancy. Well, we were about 12 months, Yeah, when so we about a year over old. Here, yeah. yeah, about a year yeah. old. So we're just starting to maybe expand Jewellery Maker a little bit. So I came over to help Paula. The first thing, everybody is on my back feathers. about feathers. So the producers, the resident designers, we didn't have quite as large a roster of designers at the no, time either. No, we just had. No probably fewer than 10 at the time in fact and Sheila and Linda both saying where's the feathers been asking for feathers feathers are on tre in trend this is what we need for our we jewelry think they designs. got lost don't we we do they're actually proved <laughs> to be quite difficult to source for our buying team certainly to make them cost effective yeah. and to make them yeah. as um, these are brilliant I suppose as aesthetically pleasing as possible mm. so we, yes. we found some feathers yeah. but we didn't really think they'd enhance your design yes. so actually this yeah. has been a long time coming and I better than anyone understand <laughs> how much people are chomping at the bit for these because yeah. as I say people have been asking me about feathers for years now since I started on the channel and now we've got we've it. got them we've nailed it we've got them Absolutely. Feathers. Um, and you feathers can see flying here everywhere that uh, Sheila's created a fantastic suite of jewellery with feathers being the focal point of many of the designs, haven't you? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That is not all you get in the kit. I will take you through the gemstones quickly. Oh, I love those garnets. So beautiful, aren't they? They are delicious. Mm. The reason I say that is because they almost look... Doing it now. <laughs> but they are absolutely exquisite. These are gorgeous. Mm. I love the, uh, the use of another organic mineral there because you've got your gold shell there in your top drilled pair drops they're 14 by 9 millimeters have a look at this aren't they beautiful they they every color reflects off them pyrite, you've actually got 140 carats mm. of rainbow pyrite there yeah interesting thing about pyrite is that despite the fact that it is an opaque opaque gemstone it shares uh, a crystal structure with a diamond so you get an isometric crystal structure exactly the same as you do with a diamond and therefore you've got a single refractive index that's why you get this sort of metallic luster from your pyrite absolutely mm. gorgeous especially with that rainbow coating again yeah, and the gives pearl. you more yeah, and it, creative it's, options yeah, doesn't yeah, it yeah yeah and then mixed in with that beautiful garnet of course january's birthstone but I think garnet's another of those gemstones that really transcends birthstone jewellery. Everybody's aware of garnet, aren't mm. they? Oh, gosh, yeah. And here, you've got very, a sort of classic colour tone between the reds and the purples, somewhere in between, isn't mm. it? It's a red wine And it, wine it goes tone. with all of, the, all of the colours of the feathers that are in the pack of feathers. So. Absolutely. So yeah. it's quite cohesive then, the kit, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So those are your gemstones. And then on top of that, you also get... 50 metre beading thread. We also try to give you a threading material. And here we've gone for a quite a sort of antique gold mm. colour tone. Mm. <laughs> and then you've got your sheet of suede, is it? It's, a, it's like a... Ultra it's suede, like Ultra sorry. suede, yeah. It's a, it's a backing fabric, which, yes. which is great for making sort of... to do one yesterday, but I did run out of time, actually, um, for various reasons. <laughs> and um, But this is great for actually making a, a structure of um, sewing, to yes. sew onto um, with your gemstones. So do you use these for your soutache designs? Would you set your cabochons I, into this? Yes, you set your cabochons into uh, that. You don't have to use it just with soutache. Mm -hmm. You can use it with any of the gemstones that you've got, and you can actually base the centre 
gemstone in the middle right, okay. or uh, my plan was to sew all of these little diamonds onto a diamond mm. section but right. I ran out of time but that was my idea um, so there are so many options for that and it, it's great for the fascinators too so it gives you more creative options yes, more versatility does. that's does. what yeah, we're looking for from our yeah, kits isn't the it same as you'll see with one of the others I've used something similar to that and you can make a necklace from it actually okay. um, stitching it on or gluing it on Fantastic. And we also have your findings um, in the form of 115 piece of gold plated copper here. So you've got the sort of uh, robust nature of the base metal there, but you've got the high end finish of the gold plating. A metre of chain, ribbon cord endings, spacer beads, jump rings, toggle clasps, shepherd hooks, crimp beads, crimp bead cut, three different kinds of head pins, including these little floral head pins, which I think are really going to help to enhance your designs. Oh, actually, they could be used as little butterflies mm. as well, couldn't they? they so could. it depends how you interpret that one. But uh, I would just say that it's always interesting to see the mechanics of your jewelry design becoming a feature of the pieces, and that tends to be a, another ideal that can set you apart from other jewelry makers. Now, Sheeta's been able to create a huge suite of jewelry because, of course, of this huge array of feathers, and I will just show you the little sort of bale setting that's been placed on the tip of each feather so very very easy a very large drill hole there if you like so quite easy to mm, incorporate into design chain and various you Absolutely. know earring findings and um and gemstones to them look at these i mean aren't, that, aren't they yeah. you can imagine that in sort of um native american inspired yes, design do yeah. you know what I mean? because of the color tones and the patterning they're there. almost double feathered aren't they with in fact there's quite a if you look, there's the black, then there's another feather on the top, and then there's the red, so... Well, I know that everyone's going to be flying through to get hold of their feathers. <laughs> because they were... <laughs> All right, no need for sarcasm. And <laughs> uh, feathers were the big attraction at uh, London Fashion Week very recently, so I know they're going to be popular in current trends. You can see this huge suite of jewellery that she has created. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten piece of jewellery and uh, and I've, I've mixed the colours on that particular I love you know, that like one. feather I've mixed all the colours on there so it just and they all sit so lovely and it's very you know for anybody that's new to jewellery making that hasn't expanded too far into anything new then that's such an easy way of making a, a feather necklace absolutely fantastic okay lots of people uh, getting involved with this particular deal and uh, if you were to buy all of these individually, it costs you around about £46, mm, which is already fantastic value. It is. But that's not going to be your price point this morning. We're going to take them down to £29.95. Fantastic. And actually, do you know what I do love about this kit? You've got a variety of different natural minerals here because, you've, of course, you've got the shell, but then you've got the feathers as well. So it's a very organic feel I've, to this I've kit. I've still got a few feathers left as well. There so, you uh, go, so yeah. even more. Absolutely, it does. It goes a long, long way. A long, long way. So which of our designs are we going to uh, I'm demonstrate? I'm going to then? show maybe how to do it because these are sort of hot, these are top drilled, the, right. the shell pearls. So I thought I'd show how to do the flower because, um, because they're top drilled. Oh, there's brilliant. a certain, yeah. Fantastic. Um, finish to the design because you've got that classic motif but with a little bit of a twist because as mm, you say it's yeah. slightly uh, off off centered if you like yeah. because they're top drill yeah okay let's have a look how we do that okay then. flying right. out the door now if you look that we've we've got if we look at these these um if, as you can see the hole is almost halfway down really there so that's why i'm going to show you how to do this particular flower um, so if i pop that down there and what I've got, I've got a, a piece of beading thread and then I've put five of the shell pearl on uh, and that's it really to start with, okay? okay? And then just what I do is I actually, rather than take it through the gemstone, I actually do a, I do a bit of a, a knot, okay? So as you can see now, that's, that's made it into the flower shape. So I'm just going to secure that once more okay so that now has given you your flower okay there fantastic we go. so I'm now going to pop on I'm going to pop that through underneath like so and then I'm going to put on the pyrite whoops 
going to put one of the pyrite on. Okay, so I'm then going to hold that just at the top there. If you can see where it's sitting. And if I just pop that down under there, and then do it again just to secure it and to stop it falling through. Let's take that over there. Okay, so now you've got, you've now got your flower. Okay. Gorgeous. And then pop on ah, a little crimp. A little, okay. whoops. That just a little it crimp. Or does it? Yeah, that's what I did, yeah. Pop on that, pop on the crimp, and then that, that secures that section then before you pop on your little diamond. So if we just pop on that there, as you can see, it's just sitting right at the very, very end there. So then just squeeze that, so you flatten it, and then there you've got your flower, which you can then, you've got two strands, hold that, they do tend to, if I hold that down there like that, you can see it better, okay? So you've then got your two strands there where you can pop on your garnet little diamond uh, shape and then you can put another crimp bead, attach some chain and there you have your... Fantastic. And then once you know how to do that, you can use it in a variety of different oh, designs. Oh, uh, yeah, you could... You could even create a gorgeous little brooch. Well, you like could... That. What you could do is you could make another one mm -hmm. and then sit it next to it because you've got these two strands which you can ah, make a little... You so can make a little... A, at at the back, yeah, you can Fantastic. make a connector. You can have three together. You could have three together on, a, on, a, on just a piece of chain. Or you can do as I've done. I've made them, three of them, and just done them different mm. lengths. Gorgeous. Look beautiful on the hair comb as well, wouldn't it? It would, actually, yes. yes. We've actually had a text through regarding this uh, kit I believe and it's from Claire it says I'd love to work with feathers but I'm not sure how to attach them so they look neat any advice well I have to say well, the actual the actual little the bale actual itself bale makes there, it very you can easy. see the bale there all you do is if you look on the one over there that which where are we um the purpley ones okay all, all I've done there is I've just used a head, oh, pin, head pin yeah head pins and just made some little sort of Loops, yeah, you made like a little an S shaped loop. S loop, yeah, yeah an exactly. S loop, yeah. So you and, go. And, very, and then very so easy you can you with. can just do it like that, or you can add on as I've done with the pink ones here. Mm -hmm. I've added some of a little ah, so a little a loop little, of the beading and thread. I used, and I used the, some the beading thread and looped, looped it, yeah, and then just um, and then just attached an, uh, a crimp bead the same as before. So they because you've got the these all of these uh, feathers in this kit have already got the. Um, yes, the little bale. The little setting, bale yeah. already, so you well, don't have to. You well, don't Thelma's have to. Thelma's text through to say that she loves the feather kit. Yet again, amazing price for such wonderful gemstones and findings. Thanks for making my day oh. yet again. Oh, bless. Thelma, you can come back. You can indeed. There's Definitely. some more to come as well. That's what isn't we like it? to hear. And of course, lots more deals to bring you throughout the morning. And that will allow you to maximise on your one PMP per day if you have taken advantage of our bag or our kits or our pearls. Um, as I say, the deals will continue. Right now, however, we are going to see what you've been creating on the Wall of Fame. Welcome to the Wall of Fame, your opportunity to see your designs live on air. And I'm going to kick us off with number 26. This has been sent in by Fran. Ah, now Fran. Fran has emailed me on Facebook to say that she'd sent me something to the studios, oh. but I can't find it, Fran, so I'll have another look today. Oh, you've got a present. Apparently. Oh, how lovely. I can't find it in the pigeonholes. Anyway, number 26, Fran. Hello all. Hope no one has had transport nightmares like I have this week. Oh, I'm obviously getting stuck in traffic there, Fran. My photo this week shows a grey cultured pearl and clear quartz bracelet with silver findings. I put the crimp covers over the knots to make the design look more flowing. Hope you like it, Fran. Yeah, absolutely. That's the way to give your design a very professional finish, isn't it? So, uh, yes, you're number 26. Congratulations. And uh, she have number a design 24 for us. with a little bow on. Um, and this is from uh, Paula. And Paula says, Hello to all at JM Towers. Here is my entry for the Wall of Fame. I've got the bow idea from Janet's design. The bow is all ruby with a tanzanite centre with a T 
teardrop ruby hanging down. I have put it with golden pearls, the tiger's eye and, and 925 clasp, all from JM. I hope you like it and keep the bargains coming. It's beautiful. Absolutely Lovely. gorgeous. gorgeous. Love that detail. Yeah. Um, I've got number 27 and this is quite, looks like quite a gem heavy piece mm. actually this has been created by Jill it says hi all this is my latest mate using the new three-way flower connectors and hematite as well as blue tiger's eye from one of your kits I used rose gold findings wire and chain with memory wire to make the pendant hope you like it and good luck all for the draw absolutely exquisite and uh, yes you are number 27 so good luck to you Jill Fabulous. Gorgeous, isn't it? And this is number 25, and this is from Jack... Uh, no, it's not from um, Helena in County Durham. Um, hello all at JM. Here is my entry for the Wall of Fame this week. Made with a wire-wrapped fuchsia agate and chain, all handmade, using chartreuse wire from my JM stash. This is my first attempt at wire wrapping, and I hope you like it. Thanks to all, and good luck to everyone. It's beautiful, actually. It's... it's and the, if that's your first attempt, it's very, very neat. It's very neat, isn't it? Very neat. Have a look at this bit of inspiration <laughs> yeah, from uh, Alex in Gloucestershire. And, and she's used the feathers to create a gorgeous pair of earrings. It says, good morning, everybody. I hope you're not fed up with me entering the Wall of Fame so often. Absolutely not. Make sure you get your design in every single week to give yourself a chance of winning. Um, I'm really pleased to be part of the Jamie experience, and I keep making and creating and want to share. Aww. I love seeing everybody that. else's entries, too. I've attached some shoulder duster earrings made using beautiful teal feathers from JM. I watched Lucy and Sheila when they launched the feathers <laughs> and I was intrigued. Lord. Everywhere she threw them. Did she? She did. That girl. <laughs> Nothing but trouble. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, there's loads of feathers in the pack. Small and a beautiful explosion when I open the pack up, so beware. I know. Um, not going to quite have that problem with these ones because they're coming as part of your kits this morning. Um, and. It does say that if Carol happens to read it out, and she would have been here this morning, unfortunately she's unable to, so I've been uh, transferred in, as it were. It says a huge big thank you. You are actually responsible for the flood of entries from me. You have been very encouraging on my previous attempts, so you might want to rethink that. Oh. <laughs> I love the program, amazing designers and uh, deals, particularly the hilarity and fun from the presenters, Carol, Lucy and Jenny. Yes. Well, I think well you may or may not be entered into the draw then, <laughs> Alex. That's, I'm only joking. Um, so, yes, fantastic design and a great way to incorporate your feathers into your design. So there you go. Uh, number 28, we're now going to move back over to the desk and we're going to bring you another exciting premiere launch. Here it comes. It's our clear quartz oh. from our cut. Maybe high street jewellers, maybe top end jewellery designers. And this is it. These are out of this world. These are, I suppose, you know what, when you look at this, this is the sort of um, idealised view of a gemstone. This is what somebody would, I suppose, draw. If you asked them to draw a gemstone, this is what you'd have because it's that classic faceted octagon cut with the open coulee, that huge table, and faceted to perfection. You almost can't believe it's a genuine gemstone, can you? You'd expect to see that set into sort of like 18 karat gold or platinum and in one of those jewelers that you have to ring the bell to get into. And um, <laughs> do you know what? That's a real fantastic indictment of the quality of the gemstone here. My director's just saying the clarity's so good. Almost can't pick it up on the camera, so that's amazing, isn't it? And huge carat weight here. So you've got nine carats, that's a three carat gemstone here. All in your clear quartz, easily. Some of the best clear quartz we've ever had. You can tell that really from the way it's been cut. Of course, when you're actually cutting a gemstone like this, and when you're gonna create this huge open gallery, or, or give, sorry, give the designer the chance to create an open gallery so you can appreciate the entire gemstone. There's nowhere to hide. So you have to be very, very confident in the quality of the gemstones. And you can see here that the Lapidus has had no trouble in creating a huge number of facets on the surface, a very traditional shape and cut. And these, for me, could be perfect for your prong setting kits. Although, you know, if you're a talented wire worker, you could create your own prong settings, couldn't you? I mean, it wouldn't be a problem. And you're going to be able to achieve a fairly incredible price point on your designs if you're featuring gemstones like this because as I say they're almost 
iconic cuts, aren't they? Sort of associated with top end jewellery design. If you saw one of these, you'd expect to, it to come in a little blue box, for example, wouldn't you? Absolutely out of this world. Now, you do get three as part of this deal. They're approximately 10 millimetres in size. They're showcase gemstones. They have to be used as the feature of a design, the focal point. In fact, I would say, like, you know, you start with this gemstone and build the design around it to make a feature of it. Probably don't need to do a lot of work with the gemstone itself because, as I say, it's doing it all for you. Gorgeous clarity here, so you know from that neutrality it's going to go with any other gemstone. And, of course, if you are starting to plan very, you know, special pieces or personal pieces of jewellery, maybe as gifts, if you're starting to plan for Christmas, maybe you're just trying to achieve slightly higher price points at your Christmas craft fairs, for example. These are the kind of gemstones to invest in, especially at the price point we're going to be able to give you. In fact, I'll tell you a little story. Yesterday on the show, we were joined by one of our ex-production managers. Um, Glenn is a very experienced man within the building and the business, and um, he was asked to record these and to create this recording. He came back and said to director Ollie, I think I've lost one of those gemstones. It pinged down the back of the, uh, the Lazy Susan. And Ollie was panicked. He was thinking, oh my goodness, I think he's just lost like a, a really expensive gemstone. Looking at the cut and expecting there to be a very, very considered price point for each of these gemstones. And you can forgive him for thinking that when you look at the quality of the gemstone. Again, these would easily pass the test of the original four C's criteria, wouldn't they? Absolutely fantastic, gorgeous cut, beautiful clarity. And of course, as a result, you probably say they are the perfect color because of that neutrality. And then of course, a huge carat weight as well. But actually, Ollie didn't need to panic that much because each of these individual gemstones is going to work out at less than seven pounds per gemstone. Let's have a look at our exclusive launch price for this cut collection, 19.95. I will just make it clear, you do get three of these so you can create a matching set of jewelry. And actually, do you know what? Even if you've got a passion for gemstones and gemology, maybe you're not necessarily a jewellery maker, but you love the more scientific or educational side of learning about gemstones, this would be a fantastic item to add to your personal gemstone collection. Oh, and once again, Gary the Gremlin's out to play. Um, M-L-O-N-9-3. N for November. Um, so there you go. Um, I don't think it makes too much difference because if you come through to the call center and you tell a member of our help team that you do want to add the um, clear quartz octagons to your order, they'll be able to find the code. So don't panic. If you're shopping online, I think you just click a button and it adds it to your basket anyway. So don't worry too much. But just to be clear, the code is M-L-O-N-9-3. 1995. But actually, do you know what? Imagine if you've got a bridal commission underway. You're laughing, aren't you? These are the kind of gemstones that, again, are going to allow you to achieve those higher price points. And not just um, demand a higher price point, but make it more justifiable as well. So if you're having to um, sort of maybe justify the price point because your customers might not necessarily understand the amount of work and time and creativity that goes into your designs, but when you're working with top end gemstones and precious metals, that's the way that you can justify the price point to your customers. Well, I said to you, didn't I, this morning, Ed, I thought they would be so much more expensive than that. Yeah. Because I, 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 they stopped me in my tracks as I was going through uh, into the gallery. They did, yeah, I remember, yeah. I, I sort of walked back, didn't I, and I said to you, because they were absolutely beautiful, well, they are stunning. Well, we were both Just shocked exquisite. when we found out the price, weren't yeah, we? Yeah, they yeah. are. They, absolutely. They really so you're talking about, what, £6.66 for a gemstone like this? Unbelievable. It's just so clear and the facets on them are just... Yeah. Of course, the greater beautiful. the number of facets, the greater the play of yeah, light. And absolutely. you can see the amount of sparkle you're getting from these gemstones. It's not just because of the way it's been faceted, but as Sheila rightly says, the clarity and the carat weight, they're very sizable, aren't they? Um, I'll just hold it in my hand. You'll really be able to appreciate the size there, um, just to give it a bit of scale, I suppose. 
So there you go, even uh, alongside my big sausage fingers, it's still the star of the show, isn't it? Look at that, can you imagine that? In a ring design, create a little claw setting. And uh, Georgina's already texted in to say, that is a mad price, beautiful. I have to agree with uh, Georgina. The price is incredible. We did have some ring uh, mats, didn't we? Yeah, the, pr the prong setting. If you've yeah, got the some of those, setting, then yeah. you are absolutely laughing. Um, but as I say, you're not limited to that. You can actually create your own setting uh, for wire workers out there. Absolutely, because there's plenty yeah. of tutorials to show you how to do that as well. Um, say again, sorry? Okay, we're going to leave that one with you because they are proving to be very, very popular. I think there's a few high-end jewellery makers and a few collectors coming through for that as well. So congratulations if you've just added that to your collection. We're going to move on and we're going to bring you... Ah, do you know what? Is this, is this the accent to, to your ring design, in fact? So you put these on the shoulders and create that classic monochrome. How about this for a 1920s design, Gina? You set one of your clear quartz in the centre, two of your fasted black oh, agates yes. to accent it. Oh, yes. I looked at those this morning. That was another choice I nearly whipped. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder it was I so thought, difficult to oh, make the God. choice. Gorgeous. Oh, that's gorgeous, isn't it? That's fantastic because you've got the sparkle from the faceting on your clear quartz and then you've got the luster from the faceting on your black agate. This is actually a treble, treble deal. This is our best way of providing you with a clearance opportunity by taking a collection of our gemstones and bundling them together to create a wholesale deal. It allows us to work on slightly lower margins and therefore provide you with a clearance price point. Most jewellery makers really, your faceted black gemstones in the form of black agate and fantastic amount of luster on each gemstone here. Very, um, I suppose, again, that sort of um, sophisticated luster is generally associated with gorgeous evening wear, isn't it? If you do want to get involved with this deal, you need to be dialing early because the only drawback to creating a triple trouble deal is that, of course, we third our stock levels. So we've only got double figures. We started with uh, quite a high quantity of these, but by putting three of them together, we have cut our stock levels to a third of what it previously would be. And of course, that allows us to provide you with an added to your order price. This is going to be an essential gemstone for all jewellery makers. Again, it provides you with that neutrality by giving you the jet black tone that will go with any other gemstone. And of course, you've got the four mil fasted rounds here. So fantastic creative scope with the smaller gemstones. Um, fitting into a number of different disciplines. Okay, you can see that half the stock's already been allocated. Let's get the price on screen immediately. For all three. Where's Pete when you need him? He would stand here so I don't have to get the blame for devaluing gemstones. That's what he'd do. My word. Right, okay, this is how we flex our value muscles here at Jewelry Maker. Less than three pounds per strand for faceted black agate. Okay, we've got fewer than 20 of this bundle remaining in stock and probably more than 20 people that placed in their basket, so that's pretty much been an instant sellout. I think we're going to move along. Um, congratulations if you did come through early for that one. They are gorgeous. They're definitely going to enhance your design. Sorry, <laughs> that was my fault. Um, we're going to move on. Where would you like to move on to? Um, the next kit. Okay, um, well the kit's not actually out just yet, um, so what instead, I'm just going to show you what we've got coming up because I know this is going to be popular. Again, we have got two very exciting strands to bring you. These are both Premier launches this morning. They're both, in my view, going to be a sellout deal. Multicoloured Tiger's Eye. Multicoloured Tiger's Eye here in what appear to be 10 or 12 mil rounds. Absolutely out of this world. These will be launched later this morning. And then these gorgeous burgundy cultured 
pearls, quite delicate sizes. And uh, these are both premiere launches this morning, coming up very, very soon. Um, actually, we are now approaching the halfway point of the show, and that means that it's time for us to bring you another of our jewellery making kits. Now, the idea behind our kit is that we're able to provide you with everything you need to get started with the hobby, or everything you need to replenish all your stocks and this morning we're giving a little bit of a focus on one of our alternative mediums this is something that we've spent years trying to source appropriate quality feathers and this morning we are going to bring you those as part of our kit you saw our previous kit virtually sell out um, during the demonstration i think them oh sorry there might be single figures of, of availability remaining sorry i don't mean to um, mislead anybody there um i thought it had said that but we've got single figures available of the previous kit if you did want to add those uh, multi-colored feathers to your order this is a little bit more focused and do you know what this is the interesting thing about working on jewelry maker the fact that different kits different gemstones inspire different imagery and in and um different connotations to the individual. I mean, for me, I'm looking over there and I'm feeling like this has quite a, a Spanish vibe to it with the reds and the blacks. Very dramatic look. Um, is it okay for me to go over? Okay, I'm gonna grab my coffee because I need a little bit of a, uh, a caffeine boost at this halfway point. Sheila, you're ready for me? Hi, Andy. Here I come then, here come I come. Um, hmm. Oh, help. Cassandra, you're an angel. Good coffee, my friend. Um, okay, um, so very exciting. Can you see what I'm saying about this sort of Spanish feel? It is actually feel? very, very sort Spanish. Sort of senorita. Yeah. It is it? very Spanish, actually. Yeah. Do you know what the only thing I can say in Spanish? Hola. Oh, I can say hola. I can say hola. La chica bonita. That's you. Oh, oh I like you that. You speak Spanish? No. Oh. Very, very, just you know. It means beautiful and lady. And, oh, does it? Yeah. Oh. Chica Bonita. I did pay him. Do you like that? <laughs> That's how you're going to feel if you're wearing any of these shoes. I mean, look at that. That is exquisite, isn't it? That's gorgeous. That is spectacular. Okay, I'm going to quickly take you through everything in this kit because the code's already on screen and uh, we know that we are very, very busy this morning. So lots of people taking advantage of the feather kit. Um, I'll show you the gemstones first, if that's all right. I know that lots of people like to make their decision based on the gemstones. And let's have a look what we've got. This is good because, again, you've got this sort of transitional strand here. Mm. It sort of bridges the gap between the very it's bold just the rich, cherry reds. Yeah, it's, it's just the richness of it. And with the feathers as well, it just mm, it's gorgeous, scrumptious. gorgeous, isn't it? So you've got... 40 carats of your red quartzite. These are four mil rounds. Again, very versatile, very easy to incorporate into your designs. 50 carats of garnet there, January's birthstone. And then again, it almost looks ah much better in the recording. You can see the depth of color there, but still that red hue coming through. And then look at that impact once again from the faceted luster that you get on your black gemstones. This time onyx, more of a sort of traditional gemstone used in jewellery design. Over 200 carats on that Gems of Distinction strand of faceted black onyx. Those are exquisite. Okay, so those are your three gemstone strands. Then you've got your three um, forms of threading material. These are the classics. Your monofilament, your elastic, and your beading thread. Just sort of more of a more of an antique finish on that that one actually then you've got look at this this is the uh, the feature piece that mm. we just saw now is that oh no it's not right okay so they that are absolutely almost looks like a little yeah. poppy almost, yes but obviously with that black fringe yeah, yeah absolutely yeah. gorgeous and with a little as little sequin should be on the other side of it yeah gorgeous that is yes and you've got the little, little sequin i love it black um then you've got this huge array of, of black and red feathers so i mean literally oh wow look at this I feel like Icarus <laughs> I could build my own set of wings using that couldn't oh, I look at that well. actually I'm not sure it'd get me off the ground <laughs> 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 I, think be, I think I might oh, be pushing God. it um, you also get your little uh, beading foundation 
So again, that's the, the backing. Which is what I put on for the, the, the fascinator. Yes. Ah, right, okay. So oh, sorry. Actually, it's easier to actually, um, if you use the glue that we sell, if you glue the feathers on, onto your, I cut out like a long, elongated leaf shape, and then I've just glued the feathers onto the fascinator, mm -hmm. and then sewn on the, the little. I see. So once again, it gives you more mm. creative options. It gives you options. a base yes. for different, you know, especially for headwear, for millinery and, and you know, little... That tends little to be quite popular for feathers, though, because that's a great way to bring that different medium mm. into your designs, isn't yeah. it? And, um, and even for weddings, oh, you know, it's amazing how many brides have sort of feather headdresses. Really? I mean, they were very, very popular in the 1920s. Right. Oh, of course. Very, yes. very yeah, popular. Yeah, sort of classic yeah. look then. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, I never thought of that. Good, good thinking. There you go. Um, and you also get your silver-plated copper filings, so a huge array there, a wholesale deal, um, and same items that we saw in our previous finding kits with your metre of chain, your ribbon cord energy, head pins, everything you could possibly need to create gorgeous jewellery designs, 115 pieces in total. Very impressive since we used to give you 26 pieces or something like that. Um, so now we can bring you a huge array of findings in your silver plated copper. Um, so that's all your findings. This huge array of feathers you can see, they're going to make that kit go an awfully long way. And oh, they very, were. There's loads and loads yeah. and loads left. I mean, I've only used a very, very minimal. And really complimentary gemstones oh, as yes, well for and the, the and Yeah, it's just, a, I, I think the colour is just, and for Christmas coming, you know, mm. with, with your Christmas balls and. Um, parties that you go to I mean it's ideal to make something very special to wear absolutely lots of people are going to be planning their party wear now aren't they um, normally if you were to invest in all of these gemstones individually and of course all your findings threading materials feathers and that little feature flower it would set you back £45.60 which as I say already represents pretty fantastic value particularly for me I'm looking at the 200 carats of fasted black onyx it's gorgeous isn't it and uh, this morning you can add it all to your order for twenty-seven ninety-five. Look how many feathers you've got. They're Those absolutely out of this world, aren't they? And loads. I'd have been there forever. <laughs> Interesting that you any other time if you heard a ten gram pack it wouldn't be a lot, but of course, feathers are quite lightweight, aren't they? So for ten grams of feathers you're getting a huge amount there. And uh, this kit has lent itself to more sort of showcase designs, more boutique yeah. style designs, hasn't well, it? Well, I, I focus the headdress, and I don't know whether any of our customers out there, which I'm sure they do because I do, my mum used to wear like a half moon feather hat, right, okay. but it, it, used to be, it used to be that shape, but it used to go flat on the head. Oh, I actually know what really, you're talking about. really, really popular. I do know what you're talking about. Really, really popular, and that, that's really where I thought, oh, I know, and then because with the flower as well, putting it right on the very edge, it just, it Good. just, um, this this one's intriguing me mm. because you've got that. I know um, to show you've got that. a bit of texture. Yeah. In the oh, is that the one we're demonstrating? Yeah. Oh, okay yeah. then. Yeah. We'll, we'll, shall we yeah. get underway then and see how we get started? Okay. Perfect. So for anybody that's, I mean, all our customers out there that have been with us a long while know the ladder weave, but this is a further on to the ladder weave. So anybody that's new to jewellery making that hasn't, this is how you actually, this is how you do the ladder weave, and then you move on from that to make the bracelet. Um, carries you on another journey really mm -hmm. so you put four of your black onyx onto your beading thread okay and then I'm going to just cross it over and pass it through so it isn't a circle it's like a diamond shape that you end up with so that's what I've done okay and then you put two on one side doesn't matter which side you put them on two on one side oops, and then one on the other and then again you cross it over okay and then that gives you your second ladder weave now I'm going to do three on this particular <coughs> section as you can see there look that's the second one this is one I made earlier just to show you that we do three one two three because on your very second one you only put on your first one you put four but on your second one you only put three because you've already got that fourth one there sitting there already so now we put on another two again on the one side another one on the other side and then that that is the end then of your little section before you actually move on to do the next little technique so they're going to cross over again And that's your final third section of your ladder weave. 
Okay. Now, that, so that I've, I've just done that. Now, the next thing to do is I've actually then... Oh, let me move that out of the way because that's... So I'm then going to put three of the little... Garnet on there. It is garnet, it is garnet, is it? It is garnet we've got here. So I'm going to put three of those on. And then all I'm doing, really, I'm just securing... Not find a little hole. There we go. I'm just going to secure that then with a crimp bead, as you can see on this one here that I've already done. Mm -hmm. So I'm putting three on one side, three on the other. Nearly there now. Three on the other. Find the hole. There we go. One. <laughs> Not very easy in the darker colours. There we go. Two. Three. Then we just pinch those together. And I'll find <laughs> there we go. So just pull that together now. Pull it tight. Get your crimp bead. Pop that on both of the strands of your beading thread. I'll snip this off in a minute. Okay, so pop that through there. Then if I can hold that up and you can see it, I'll just secure that so you can see it. People absolutely loving this kit, Sheila. Oh, in brilliant. fact, Mrs. Lee, regular contributor, has texted oh. in to say, Morning, Ed and Sheila, those black agate look like spinel. They and do, again, don't they? They them, do, yeah. They would be very 1920s, which is yeah, exactly what you were saying. Absolutely, yeah. Um, your feathers are the best. The there best. you go. So there we have that section that I just... I don't know where the camera's coming, but we can either, I can either put it on... The, so if you can see that now, that's the one I've just made, and that's, that's the one I made earlier, which I'm, I've now attached. So we move that over to the one side. So to get that crisscross effect over the bracelet, yes. you then put some um, monofilament. You could probably do it with the beading thread because the holes in the black agate are quite big. Um, I may well do that, actually, because you can see it easier than you can with the... Um, so I'll just do that very quickly. Just so t cut some beading thread. Um, tie a knot in the bottom. I'll do a double knot to make sure it doesn't pull through. Then just do a double knot, okay? And then start threading on some of your, which I, ca I can't do beforehand because you have to take it through. Hang on a minute. So this could take a while, Ed. Can you sort them out and get the holes ready for me? <laughs> uh, I can uh, try. There you go. Those so down there. What do you want me to do? With them? I'm trying to find the hole, Ed. There we go. Oh, hang on. If you found that one, then there we go. I'll find the others. It's not very... <laughs> there we go. So you, you need to More put on about... Oh, yeah, you need to put on your eyesight's better than mine. You need to put on about five or six, because what you're going to do, you're going to start at that end there, and then you're going to cross over, mm. over to the other side, go mm. down that... What you're doing is going down the centre four beads there. So you're crossing over and then going down. Once Ed's got those on, I'll just show you the one section and then okay. I think your eyesight's much better than mine. Ed, you're okay? Can no, you no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Isn't it? It, it, yeah. I've, I've uh, put a knot on the end. One you have more? to have patience, don't you guys? At uh, you do That's really. It, yeah, but I think um, a lot of people find this it's to be very quite therapeutic. therapeutic. Yeah. yeah. You go, I think I'll be okay. A bit frustrating on live TV. Pardon? It's frustrating on live TV, but when you're sitting in your own living room, yeah, just you're, chilling you're, out. You've got bigger, bigger fingers, haven't you? There we go. There so go. if we just put on... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass it through the very end one. No, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to take that off there. I'm going to push that through because... There we go. That's where threading them on air would have taken me absolutely ages to have done. So I'm going to push that through there. There we go. Now you can take it across that way, look. So you're t what you're doing now, you're taking those beads that we've just threaded on. You can't really see the darkness over. So you're going to take that over there and then you're going to take it through that middle. So what you're doing is passing the thread through when you've got your beads on, you're actually taking it through the middle section. The middle bead, if you can see, I'll point that out now. So we have those in the middle there, sitting in the middle. Those there. So Fantastic. that is what that is what you take and it you through, just repeat and that, you just you? then repeat that. So just repeat that. Just put on your five gemstones, take it then through that 
black onyx there, do exactly the same. So you're actually folding it over and over and over, but to thread from the gemstones, it would take a while. Fantastic. And then, and then all you do is then take it back across. Okay. So it gives you that crisscross. It's a Fantastic. bit long-winded to take, do on air. But love that. Now, I have to say, we have got one strand coming up after the break that would make this kit go even further because yeah. it is so perfect for oh, wow. beautiful burgundy pearl. I mean, it just oh, looks that's like gorgeous. it could have been part of the kit, doesn't it? That's almost like a... It's almost like a ready... Oh, they were described as red. I, I'm just describing them as burgundy. Just I, give people well, I burg yeah. Actually, there are some darker ones in there, some lighter ones and some Yeah, I like that, actually, there. don't you? The yeah, slight really variations lovely, in the colour. Beautiful, they are. We're actually going to launch these pearls straight after the break. So uh, we'll get to a quick break. We'll be back in two minutes, and we're going to launch some cultured pearls at an add-it-to-your-order price. Don't miss out on that deal. Stay where you are, and we'll be back in two. the incredibly talented guest designer Alison Tarry in her very first wire sculpture DVD. In this edition, you will learn all the skills needed to create fabulous scroll work designs, including a decorative bell, wire booties and an ornamental box. To get your hands on a copy, contact our call centre. Get creative with Jewellery Maker. We here at Jewellery Maker love to hear your feedback. So working in conjunction with FIFO, a global ratings and reviews provider, when you purchase a product from JM, you will receive an email asking you to rate our service and our products. This helps us to bring you excellent customer service and ensure we're bringing you value for money and high quality goods. Have your say with Jewellery Maker FIFO reviews. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order for just 50p and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates for items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from the Genuine Gemstone Company. Do you need a helping hand to get started with Jewellery Maker? Are you stuck for ideas and need inspiration? Then visit our Jewellery Maker website where you can find our video tutorials. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow jewellery making demonstrations. Whether you're a beginner, hobbyist or business owner, there's always something new to learn. It couldn't be easier. Simply click and learn some new jewellery making techniques. Did you know you can purchase incredible jewellery featuring genuine gemstones on our sister channel, Gems? Come along and see what treasures you can find. The Collector's Choice features high calibre gemstones which are prized for their outstanding attributes. They could be examples of rare gemstones, gemstones of pure clarity or exceptional quality. They're all hand-faceted by our experienced lapidrists in our cutting heads in the heart of Jaipur. This maximises the brilliance and lustre of the gemstones. The Collector's Choice from Jewellery Maker. Welcome back to Jewellery Maker. My name's Ed. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. And I have to say, it is very, very busy, probably because we've been bringing you so many incredible deals. Of course, we launched the show with our brand new shopping bag. We only have double figures remaining on that item. We will give you a little recap shortly. But right now, we're launching another premiere item. This time, gorgeous round of cultured pearls. And again, these will be perfect for maybe the party season if you are starting to think about your Christmas designs. These are seven by six millimeters in size, so very slight elongation to the pearls, but again, I think that slight irregularity does provide you with credibility. It shows your customers you're working with genuine cultured pearls. And of course, look at that rich, intense color tone there. Um, I've been describing it as a sort of burgundy, and I think that's pretty much accurate. 
Do you agree with that, Benjamin? I would, yeah. There you yeah. go. Ben, real life rock stars on camera. There you go. No messing around. And uh, Ben agrees. Burgundy pearls. So um, I have to say, I did touch upon this earlier, but maybe you've just tuned in. Maybe you haven't been able to watch over the last couple of weeks and you don't know what's going on for cultured pearls within the industry. New legislation has led to a 40% decrease in the production of pearls and we're expecting to see an increase in the price in the coming years. So in 2015, I can't guarantee we'll be able to provide you with the same prices that we have previously. But um, so far, we've been fairly successful in maintaining our very competitive prices on culture pearls. And of course, as we discussed earlier, pearls very eclectic, perfect for everyday wear, as well as those top end commissions for evening wear or even bridal commissions. Of course, pearls synonymous with weddings and bridal parties. People already know about the quality of our pearls. They know the kind of price points that they are able to achieve on their designs when they're buying pearls at wholesale prices from us here at Jewelry Maker. Rena, for example, coming straight through on the free phone number to take six strands of these beautiful red or burgundy cultured pearls. The only reason I say that, I'm not just being a pain. Well, I am being a pain, but I'm not just being a pain. Uh, I just want to give everybody, you know, an accurate idea of the colour tone. Sometimes if you see red, you might think of it as a sort of ruby tone. It is a bit rich and that's more like a red wine tone or a burgundy colour. So I just say that just to give you an idea of what you're getting. Um, lots and lots of multi-buyers now and lots of people who have been shopping since 9.01 this morning. So people really maximising on that 1 p.m.p. per day. How many of these do we have? quite a healthy stock level although probably about a quarter of stocks already been allocated on this particular strand and when you see the price point you'll understand why beautiful burgundy cultured pearls and here comes your price incredible the last time I actually was on the morning show presenting, I was actually joined by Sheila when we did a pearl showcase, remember? We did, didn't we? Yes. Yeah, and you were talking about when you went on um, a vacation with your lovely family, who are, of course, gem hunters. They are <laughs> indeed, trade. yes. yes. And um, oh, you were saying yes. that you saw individual culture pearls being sold for on 15 $20, something like that? On Pier 39 in San Francisco, yeah, they were uh, $15 for yeah, one pearl. for one pearl. Because Steve so bought some just to show, you know, how, what the price of them are. How competitive we are. <laughs> yes, exactly, yeah. yeah fantastic. Yeah. Um, there you go, you can see that we did have quite a healthy stock level to begin with and they are flying out the door. As I said, um, a huge number of these have already been allocated and it's, oh my word, hold on a minute, Rena's just come back through. Is that another, uh, an additional four strands you've just bought, Rena, or is that, is that cum cumulative on our system? Congratulations if you are really, so say again, sorry. Um, Susan, you're there, you've got two. Sheila's got two, oh. Sabine's got two, Jackie's got two, Angela's got two, Catherine's got two, another Angela, you've got two as well. Uh, Huina? Never heard of that now, that's really, yeah, very exotic. Huina, you've got two. Another Susan comes through, you've got three. And I'm being told that uh, I might have just stitched Rena up. Sorry, Rena. You, you can get away with it. Most competitive price on the market. And the more you invest in now, the less you're going to pay in, in postage and packaging. So actually, you're shopping in a very thrifty way, Rena. Well done, Rena, for saving your significant other lots and lots of money on P and P. You are a very savvy buyer. There you go. Most people coming through to take more than one strand of these beautiful burgundy pearls. I imagine people maybe want to use these in personal designs for the Christmas period, but you also want to have one in your stash in case somebody notices that design and gives you a commission off the back of it. So that's probably the best way to act. In fact. And we'll say that, you know, creating jewellery designs to wear yourself, especially over the party season, is probably the best way to advertise your services as a jewellery designer. You only need somebody to notice the design. And, uh, of course, they're going to ask you to create or recreate the design for them. That's how a lot of people start making jewellery through personal commissions. Now, some people asking me about the length of this strand. It's a great question. So I'm... I'm 
about 40 centimetres. That's where the rule runs out. I'll, I will measure it. No, oh, exactly 40 centimetres. There you go. So 40 centimetre length of pearls. And we've had a text message from Fran. It says it's a Christmas colour. Lots of people are likely to want jewellery in that colour. Exactly, there you go. That's exactly what I was hinting at, but Fran, first-hand knowledge of set designs, I presume. So thank you so much for getting involved this morning, Fran. Less than £10 for culture pills, always going to be impressive, but as you say, when you've got something that offers you a bit of direction through the design process, because these are going to be used heavily over the Christmas period, aren't they? They're almost a, a sort of mulled wine colour tone, maybe. Quite sort of uh, Christmassy colours, almost sort of a uh, sort of spicy look to them, don't they? Wow, Wendy just came through to get six strands of these pearls. So it does go to show how popular cultured pearls are, particularly when you can bring them to your customers for less than £10. Now, um, oh, great, OK, so uh, just a little bit of an update. Again, the quantity bar that you can see on our graphics can't keep up with the demand as it comes through on the free phone. And so we've probably got more like 60 available strands of pearls rather than 91. Um, just to give you a great idea. And uh, yes, so if you do want to get involved, you do need to be heading to those free phone number very, very quickly. Or of course, click into buy now at jewelrymaker.com. So yeah, again, in fact, one, two, three, four, five, six. The last six people to come through on the phone lines have all taken more than one of these, somebody taking six, somebody taking four, somebody taking two. Most people multi-buying this strand and that just goes to highlight not only the quality of the gemstones but the value we offer. Help you to create profitable jewellery. I kind of disagree with these little theories, these little equations that people apply to creating price points for their jewellery design it often involves the cost price of the gemstones versus the amount of time that you've put in and building the price of your store, your craft fair store, forget about it. If you're going to try and create an appropriate price point for your jewellery based on the wholesale prices you pay for gemstones here at Jewellery Maker, you are going to be undervaluing your jewellery because there's nowhere else on the market that I know of that you can get genuine cultured pearls that are going to offer you this much character, this much depth to your designs for less than £10. So please don't sell your pearl designs for around about £10 based on the price you've paid because it's just not an appropriate price for these quality of culture pearls. We can afford to give you these price points because we're part of the Genuine Gemstone Company and we can get as close to source as possible. Um, sometimes when it comes to our gemstones, we actually own the mine ourselves. So that's why we can give you these very competitive prices I wouldn't personally value your jewellery design based on the prices you pay from us here at Jewellery Maker. I'd try to achieve a larger price because I've seen the quality of our Jewellery Maker's designs and they are out of this world. Now we're going to leave that on with you and we're going to move on because I've got another fantastic bundle here. And again, this is how we provide you with competitive prices by creating wholesale deals. Now, some people might think, well, you know, am I ever going to use all these gemstones? Trust me, you are. But also, it's not really that removed a concept, is it? I know some people might think that, um, you know, you're having to pay a slightly higher price point. You're not. These kind of price points you're going to pay elsewhere for, you know, individual strands. We're able to put together a wholesale bundle. This is, you know, the same as um, sort of kids use, isn't it, when they go to a cash and carry to get hold of their sweets for their tuck shop. By buying in bulk, you can offer your customers a more competitive price point and that is definitely true here at Jewelry Maker because we create these wholesale bundles. Have a look at this collection of gemstones here. A gemstone for every jewelry making scenario and you've got it all in the very versatile four mil rounds. Perfect for so many different and popular disciplines here at Jewelry Maker whether it's your soutache designs and you need to frame your cabochon, whether it's your wire work, Kumahimo, micro macrame, bead looming, your classic beady beads. The list goes on and on. But first of all, let me take you through the gemstones you're actually going to get hold of today as part of this wholesale bundle of four mil rounds. Here we'll start with this beautiful rose quartz here. Oh no, 
let me take that back. My apologies. This is, in fact, brutal quartz. Those would go gorgeous together. Create a very dramatic monochrome look, wouldn't they, with the, the pastel pinks and the, the monochrome effect from your black and white brutal quartz there. Um, so there's, that's two of strands. Then we've got this gorgeous strand of multicolored poppy agate. Myriad of colors there. Absolute rainbow of color tones. Then we've got your faceted green agate in your four mil rounds. Almost like a sort of emerald green tone there. You've got your faceted black agates there. We've already seen their popularity this morning. Have so four mil rounds on those. Ah, the perfect addition. The plain rounds of your clear quartz. So those together, absolutely fantastic for those sort of flapper girl designs that we've been inspired with so far this morning. Then you've got your smoky quartz. This is going to be really popular as we head into the autumn season. And uh, you can see that sort of rich sort of chocolate brown tone there in your four mil rounds. Actually, that could be used in place of your jet blacks, couldn't it, to tone down a monochrome look as well. And then you've got the unikite here as well. So I love unikite. Very, very popular. That sort of swirl between the forest greens and the rose pinks all in one gemstone. Very... Um, very naturalistic gemstone in my opinion. Lots and lots of people, once again, regular buyers aware of the kind of value we bring you and of course the more items we place in a bundle, the lower the price point we can offer you, the more of a wholesale deal we can give you and you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight strands of four mil rounds and of course actually you might think, well, you're getting a smaller carat weight on the four mil rounds, but of course there's been a much greater wastage in the cutting process. So we've actually probably started with larger carat weights and then we've had to obviously cut them down to four mil rounds and then you've got to sort of almost micro facet them because they're such delicate cuts at four millimeters. To facet the strands is actually very labor intensive. So probably more work going in to these more delicate cuts than you'd find on the larger gemstones but that's not going to translate in the price point because, of course, we have created a wholesale bundle and you can have eight strands for $24.95. Absolutely amazing. That works out at just over £3 per strand this morning. £3.12, pence, in fact. <laughs> for faceted gemstones here. That's amazing, isn't it? That's fantastic. So many people coming through there. Once again, lots of people multi-buying this to maximise on the deal. And in, in fact, during the last break, I read a text message that had come through from one of our customers that actually said um, the reason she always multi-buys is to ensure that she has stock levels that will keep her up to date because she doesn't know whether they're ever going to come back in stock or if she's going to have to wait six months for them to come back in stock and that's a great way to put it in fact because of course we're as much buying power as we have we're still at the mercy of mother nature and so I don't know whether she's going to create enough green agate and black agate and rutile quartz and pink quartzite in order to recreate this bundle so when you get these opportunities to invest in genuine faceted gemstones for around about three pounds a strand, just over three pounds a strand, you should be snapping them up and multi buying is a great way to also maximize on your one PMP per day. We've had a little bit of a text message come through. It says, I love the bundles, always fab value and prompts me to work with gemstones I wouldn't usually consider. This is another interesting consideration of investing in a wholesale bundle. Sometimes you're gonna get gemstones that maybe take you out of your comfort zone, that maybe you don't habitually work with, and therefore it expands your horizons, maybe takes your designs in a new direction, and of course that might attract a new customer base, who knows? Of course, the greater number of customers you're working with, the greater your turnover, and therefore you can afford to invest in these wholesale bundles. Just $24.95 this morning for eight strands of four millimeter rounds. If you do want to get hold of this, I mean, just look at that gorgeous combination of colors. There's definitely so many different complementary combinations there, but maybe you just want to use them individually as accent stones. The possibilities are endless with this particular bundle. I will leave that one with you, and um, we're going to move on. Um, and we're going to move on to, this is a, oh, I'm sorry, it wasn't stranded properly. They've all just come off the end. 
Um, sorry about that. I just picked it. <laughs> they are here, don't worry. I'll just pick them up individually. Now, one end of the spectrum to the other now. So we've just looked at those very delicate four millimetre rounds. And don't worry, dear. I've got most of the wooden beads here. That's fine. Um, now, we've got those very delicate four millimetre rounds. Now we're going to the other end of the spectrum. So quite high impact, naturalistic, robust looking um, beads here and then your wooden beads and this is I believe your tiger ebony wood I'm really sorry the strand wasn't tied at the end ah here we go okay um, we have got a sample in fact we can have a look at these here so it's slight, two slightly different shapes and you've got this sort of domed effect and then you've also got the little squares as well sort of cushion cuts if you like the great thing about our wooden beads, actually this is quite useful because it allows me to show the size of the drill holes, which is a massive benefit of our wooden beads. Now these are going to work, see look at that, There's no, even you'd even get the paracords through there, wouldn't you, without too much trouble. So that, this does go to show you how useful these are. So you've got, um, the, these are the sort of trapezoid shapes and you do get a whole strand of those. Well, somebody gets half a strand because I've thrown it all over the place. No, I'm only joking. <laughs> so you get a strand of the trapezoid shapes and then you've got the square or the cushion cut as well. So there you go. But it's quite useful for seeing the size of that drill hole because that, again, provides you with more opportunity. So this is your tiger ebony wood, um, quite similar to mahogany, actually, in terms of its colour tone and its density, just because that's quite a traditional wood that most people will be aware of. Love the sort of grain on the wood because it does have a very high-end finish. These are going to be perfect for maybe more affordable designs, maybe masculine designs. These would be perfect, wouldn't they? You see a lot of uh, the wooden beads being used in, in masculine designs. Mm. and. Um, again, oh, it, because they've got quite a big balls and putting them in between, because they have got such a wide space in between, you'll be able to put leather cord through, you'll be able to put anything through really, they're as big yeah. a hole as I've seen in any of our... Absolutely. Um, I know they wouldn't, you know what I mean, but you can, you can take them on so many different journeys. There you go, you can see everything you're going to get here, these are the two um, different shapes, the trapezoids and your squares or cushion cuts there and you get on the squares approximately 25 individual beads on the trapezoids 40 individual beads so huge scope for design there and let's have a look at our price point wow another add it to your order price point here of just 11.95 for our wooden beads and there's going to be so many designers actually that are now able to work with a variety of different mediums textures you can use these actually to create quite um, solid looking designs that are actually quite lightweight and comfortable to wear. So that's often a consideration for people when they're thinking they about are, everyday yeah. pieces, aren't Absolutely. they? Absolutely. And, and especially, you know, with the sort of the winter coming, you know, and have that, you wear sort of, you know, caramel jumpers and, you know, the, the sort of, not really darker tones, but the in-between, you know, the creams, and they will go lovely sitting on a, a jumper. That's a great idea, I would, I would, I, I would put lots of goals with it myself. and for like a feminine yeah no um, absolutely I can see that because look. you can actually despite the fact that you've got a very organic feel working with uh, something like wood you can still elevate it into you that, can yeah into that you can sort of more elegant arena if you like mm. Della regular contributor to the show has uh, already um, texted in this morning but she's also added to say a bit of inspiration here yeah, you well, can also yeah. use these as the base for polymer clay beads Absolutely, yeah, fantastic. I didn't yeah. hesitate to text in. Um, and of course, if you do want to get more involved with Jewelry Maker, then you can also go and sort of like our Facebook site. We've got over 40,000 people on our Facebook site, and I see people sharing ideas, hints, suggestions all day long. And actually, do you know what? Just lots of support as well, I see. Personal support for people, so lots of people forging quite close friendships to our Facebook site, so that's nice to see as well. Um, now, we're going to bring you our next kit. This is ridiculous. Is this by any chance a boutique bundle that you've it had a hand in? It is a little in? bit, yes, it is a little bit. I know what these For resident feather designs frenzy. are like. Feather frenzy, I've called it. Feather frenzy it is indeed. I love the combination of these colour tones, the teals and the and amethyst the, and purples. And the purples, yeah. Absolutely they gorgeous. They go so well, don't they? I was really quite, yeah, surprised with how how they they're very in this year as well mm. these colors are 
I very, think very on, I think on I don't think they ever go out of fashion, do they? No, but, but, and the but some stones. people wouldn't put them together. Mm, I see, OK. So this is a, a, a current trend, but actually a classic combination, really, isn't it? Oh, I yes, think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. I love this. And you can see that the colour combinations are mirrored through the feathers, the sari silks and the gemstones. So, again, lovely flow to the collection here. Um, this is a huge array of um, sari silk sort of offcuts, isn't it? And yes, you get it varying yeah. lens, different colour tones. I, I don't want to be a pain, but shall I open it and just give people you can, an idea? But it'll go, it'll, it yeah. literally goes everywhere. You, you get a huge amount of sari you silk. You do get loads. Um, I mean, I've only used a very, very small amount of it. But it's um, a different medium again, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, but I mean, I, I did make, when we had some other colours in before, I made a, an evening bag and mm -hmm. I actually knitted it with the sari silk. And, uh, and it, it really did look lovely and you, know, you can, yeah, you can line them. Yeah, so it, it's just showing how you can mix different mediums, and on the, the um, fascinator there, on that one I mean, there, the fascinator, I've actually, gorgeous. I've actually um, soaked some of the sari silk in the PVA it has glue, a sort of which ribbon -like we do. Ribbon-like effect, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, and it gorgeous. gives you that, gives you that sort of ribbon effect on the fascinator. So it, you can, you can actually, as you would do the lace, you can do exactly the same with the sari silk, which you, you have like a, a dessert spoonful of PV, PVC glue. And then you have, um, not PVC, PVA, <laughs> that's the windows, sorry. Um, and then a, a spoonful of, of the glue and then a spoonful of warm water, a dessert spoonful. Okay. And then just mix it together and then just let it sort of settle and then pop in some of your sorry silk and then leave it yeah. overnight and, and some plastic and it comes stiff. Yeah. Fantastic, there you go. So that's a great way to integrate those into your designs. I mean, this for me is just a, an absolute showcase piece this morning. The, the peacock ne uh, choker, I'm going to call it. Oh, like the, the, the peacock cho choker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You like that? Uh, okay, um, let's have a look because also have a look at the huge array of feathers that you get in this kit. Ridiculous, right? So you've got. 10 grams of your purple feathers and 10 grams of your teal feathers. 10 grams is going to go... And, you know, all sorts of different things, really, and they just look so beautiful together, don't they, the colours? Oh, they are just out of this world, the, that combination. So I love soft it. soft as well. And I like the fact that we've mirrored that in the gemstones. So have a look at this. You've got your top-drilled rounds of Amazonite here which are eight millimetres in size, giving you 75 carats in total. And then to accent that stone, we have your sky blue appetite. Now I've got my own little theory about appetite at the moment. Have I've you? seen it being used quite heavily by American jewellery designers. Oh. So my theory is that it's only a matter of time before it really hits the mainstream. And you know what happens then? That's Everybody it. wants Everybody it. Everybody wants it and then you can't Becomes get it, Becomes rarer, you? you can't get hold of it, and the price goes through the roof. That's a common trend in the jewellery market, trust me. Then we've got February's birthstone, gorgeous amethyst, and of course, that colour tone again, mirrored in the feather tones there. Classic gemstone, 10 by 8 millimetre top drilled um, droplets, 170 carats in total, and then I love this. Um, now this has been classified as purple quartzite, I would, um, but I would say, say it's, it's more pink. like sort of pink quartzite. Yes. yes, it is pink, yeah. Definitely pink. Look at this. I would say it's a kunzite colour tone. I was just saying yeah, yeah, it's quite yeah. almost reminiscent of kunzite. So you do get a slightly lavender hue in there, but really for the most part it's yes, a pink you do. In so, yes, you do have a bit of a lavender. I can see that, yeah. yeah. So um, does it actually, again, it almost provides a little bit of a transition between the harshness of the purples mm, and, the, mm. and the pastel green, so that sort of bridges the gap again. It does, you. it does. Four strands in this particular kit, along with your gorgeous feathers. Oh my, I just realised <laughs> <laughs> these this, feathers this all this over This is them. absolutely a gorgeous, Thanks. gorgeous colour. It's, I absolutely love that colour. You've also got your little silver spacers. Yeah, you've got spacers your little silver spacers. There as well, just to give a little bit of extra um, detail to your finish on your designs there. Fantastic. You can see there, it's almost that sort of beaded metal work there. Fantastic. Around 60 pence, which is not going to be your price point this morning. 
In fact, you're gonna save over 20 pounds by investing in your Feather Frenzy Boutique collection. You can see that a third of the stock has already been allocated to people's orders and there's actually multi buyers for our kit this morning that's incredible great way to stock up on all of these items you're always going to need pink gemstones nice brooch Pastel nice greens. feather brooch as well oh yeah nice that's a great brooch. idea be lovely with some wire but i didn't i didn't um yeah i did get rather don't don't put them on silk sheets or oh, if you had, yes. i took them upstairs to sort of you know spread them out and you've got silk sheets have you sheila no it was at sarah's actually she doesn't oh. know that she, well, she does know if she's watching. She does now, I was going to yeah. say. <laughs> yeah, no it, no, it wasn't in that. No, it was in the spare room because I was staying there. So I just sort of, so yeah, I did. Keep digging, Sheila, keep <laughs> digging. <Okay. laughs> just getting worse and worse now. <laughs> Roughly half the stock's now Ooh. been allocated. You are, of course, making a £20 <laughs> saving. And uh, which of our designs are we now going to demonstrate then, Sheila? I'm going to show just this because it's difficult because a lot of the, the feathers are actually sewn on and be, uh, are right, actually okay. glued on. Got you. And because you, I used the sari silk and um, I did sew the, 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 the gemstones on the necklace, I did sew those on. Okay. Well, we so have, they we have so seen on. lots of interesting inspirational feather designs this yeah. morning. So, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, I thought I'd just show a little bit of the um, a bit of the twisting design, for anybody yeah. that hasn't ah, you know done any tiara twisting, I mean this eh? yeah this isn't this is a, this is the basic tiara twist but it's using a few gemstones okay. so with this one you actually take a piece of wire I haven't left enough on that side but never mind that's through um, but it doesn't matter so take a piece of this is 0.4 wire with with twisting always use 0.4 on your bridal twist or, or anything that you're doing to, to do any twisting with so that's 0.4 so to make that little section there that little sort of flower section I would call it really um, firstly I'm going to put on another of the pink quartz and pop that on there and then just I'm going to twist that because what I'm going to do is make a, a sort of a circle of these little of these little um, offshoots here so I'm going to take one of the now this could take me a while Ed I'm losing them I've got it for you have you got it I've managed to right. rescue Give me it a bit. Oh, they've got, see the wire goes everywhere so then pop on one of on one of the branches of the wire whoops pop on one of the turquoise, okay. And then we're going to pop on another one of the, I'm trying to, to sit so you can see what I'm doing. If I move that up a bit, move that out of the way. And then, so what, what you're creating is a bunch of three on the wire, okay? But the secret Better is- Better than a bunch of fives. <laughs> <laughs> you could have a bunch of fives if you like, I suppose. Oh, yeah, I've had enough, I I've had enough I of those do, in my lifetime. I really <laughs> won't do that on air, I don't think, no. Yeah, oh well, yeah. <laughs> so, there we go. So we've now got what I've done on one of the sort of strands of the wire, I've put three on. I've put two of the smaller ones and then a larger one. That section there, I can hold that up, turn it round to get that little, the wire goes its own way, to get that little section there. You've always got to allow, however long you want your branch to be, you've got to allow for the same amount of, of um, wire on the other side because you are twisting, okay? So I'll allow, I don't know, about half an inch there. And then just fold it over so you've, you've got it folded over like so. Okay, mm -hmm. and then just twist. So just twist it. Let's twist again. Na, 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 na. There we go. So there you've now got two little sections of two little. <laughs> and go <laughs> like this. Oh, Sorry. yeah, do you remember when I you used to was be doing that all the time? Oh, no, yeah, to I know. twist. Oh, no, that, I won't do that on my back. <laughs> I can mash potato. There. I must right. say, his bottom's really moving behind this desk, you know. Uh, <laughs> and then, so really, King of what, Dad dancing. all you do then is follow that centre um, gemstone in the middle and just follow it round by doing exactly the same. Put a smaller one on, then a larger one, then a smaller one. Um, pinch them together and then just twist until you go to the centre. So you, you only need a small amount of wire to twist, but make sure that you've got it on both sides of your wire. Fantastic. Okay. Yep. I can do another one if. if Oh, do you think that's... 
Yeah, I think I think we you, you sort of understand the concept now, and of course you don't have to emulate the no, design. You just can just the incorporate twisting. the technique you can do into you your yeah. creations. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely fantastic. We have had a little bit of uh, a question actually from Joanne uh, from Shropshire. It says, "How do you attach these feathers without the silver ends?" So um, you were saying that you've sewn some on, you've glued them on as uh, well. What I've done, um, Joanne, is um, if you've got the the backing. Uh, foundation or the, or the suede, whichever whichever you want to use, hmm. both are just as, as good. Um, and then I just cut out a template of a shape of a necklace that I wanted. Mm -hmm. um, and by doing that, you just fold your material over whatever you're using on the the back of it, and um, and then just draw a design. And then when right. you open it, it's it's both the same size. It's you know like a template. And then I've just um, I've just uh, glued them on with with some of our glue. I'll I've just, just placed them, glued them on. See? See that? And then I've I've just stitched the um, I've stitched the, the gemstones on, but the feathers I've stuck on because it, that, that's that's the best way to do it with feathers. Other there than if go. if they've got the bail, they, if they've got yeah, the bail, yeah. yeah. Um, we had another question from Karen. I think it says hi, Sheila. I've ne oh sorry, I didn't didn't get to oh, that one yet. Uh, you use sari silk. I can't see how to use it effectively. Is it on? Uh, trend or how do I use it? Your designs are stunning. Oh, thank you very much. Thank well, you, you you've um, much. you've literally wire wrapped the end, haven't you? No, what I've done, I've plaited it. I've plaited right. it. So I've plaited the um, the sari silk, okay, and then I've once it's plaited and I've tied a knot at the back, and then mm -hmm. I've just roped some wire around the yeah. back, just quickly, just to. But that's um, allowed you to attach a clasp. Just and to give attach it a to, yeah. to it. And then what I've done, I've got some 0.4 wire. And then I've actually threaded on some gemstones and then just threaded the wire through the sari silk. Fantastic. You, you can also, um, you can attach some wire and attach some um, jump rings and have some gemstones sort of dangling down from your sari silk. You can knit with sari silk, you can crochet with sari silk. Could you use with, the, um, with the bell shaped clasps? Um, to create a, a I haven't set, got so. one. Of, yeah, yeah, I haven't got one of. Yeah, there. one of the um, twi you know the, the cone twisters. Yeah. I haven't yeah. got or, one at home. Or the actual, or the actual for the yeah. Kumihimo kit. Yes, you yeah. can. Yes, yes. yeah. Brilliant. Yes, so, really, so, you're only ever limited by your own creativity. Exactly. The more you experiment, the more innovative ways you will find personally of integrating these different mediums and textures into your designs. People still come and do for that one, so if you have got it placed in your basket, there's around about 10 of you that have. Check out to avoid disappointment. We're now going to go over to the Wall of Fame. Like Welcome back to the Wall of Fame. We just she was just admiring your designs yeah, there in yeah, the little intro. This um, is lovely as well. This is number 29 and this is from Aileen in Renfrewshire, Ren 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 uh, Scotland. Hi. Hi, okay, they're new. That's all I can say. <laughs> Hi, Aileen. In South Africa. In South <laughs> I'm joking. Did it sound like? Did it sound like? I'm just messing no. with you. Oh, it could have done, it could have done. Number 29, absolutely beautiful. Um, and Aileen says, hi to all at JM. Thank you so much to all the presenters and designers who provide so much entertainment and inspiration, not to mention the wonderful gemstones. Um, this is my first entry to the Wall of Fame as I am new to jewellery making. I have used a druzy along with some rainbow pyrite all from JM. Love working with wire, so I really enjoyed making this. And good luck to everyone. Lots of love from That's Hayley. Gorgeous, That's isn't really it? beautiful. I do like that. Yeah, very it's nice. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Move flow Ooh. to the design. Gorgeous. Yeah. Now I've actually got a design here that we showed on last night's late show because we were bringing you these exact amethyst droplets on the show, and the, uh, we used Jill's design as a little bit of inspiration. Well, I've, I've, I've got those at home, and some of mine have popped out. What a good idea. I'm going to put some black droplets we in We discussed there. this idea quite heavily on our show because yeah, Sam, that, our tech op, is uh, a talented jewellery maker herself, and she tends to focus more on ornamental on items like chandeliers yes, yes, and yes. wind chimes what rather a, than yes, classic jewellery yes. designs. I'm going to do that now. I'll bring a picture in of mine when I've done them. And we'll see yeah. if it's as good as Jill's. Well, <laughs> uh, Jill, you're number 32. Very innovative idea here of fabulous. incorporating yeah, I love it. amethyst droplets onto your chandelier design. Oh, I great. I about that as well. Yeah, it's a great idea, isn't it? She sparkle everywhere. Right, this is number 30, and this is from... That's really lovely as well, mm, with the heart great idea. There. And this is from Pauline in Cheshire. 
Uh, Pauline says, hi to all at JM. This is my entry to the Wall of Fame. It's a wire heart pendant made using 0.8 gold plated wire, faceted blue onyx and an eye light drop in the center. Wasn't sure what to use as the necklace, but thought to match the gems, two tone leather, leather cord looks great. All items are from JM. Good luck to everyone. And thanks JM for such great shows and demos. Thank you too for all your gorgeous designs that you send in to us yeah, as well. Yeah, that's gorgeous. I'm, I'm always all inspired of, of it. I always have to have a look every morning. Amazing. These are rather delightful as well. This has been sent in by Anthea and it says resin and yellow micro powder used to create this beautiful commission. All sterling silver findings from my stash. Sadly, you cannot see the beautiful shine that the micro powder has given the resin. In the light, it reflects like moonstone. I love making this piece. Good luck to all in the draw. Well, absolutely fantastic. fantastic. And when I look very closely at the picture, I can, you can see. see can't almost you? looks you like can, opal. It is, it is. Mm. Yes, you, you can see it here. Yeah, definitely. There you go, look. There you go. We can all like Druzy, actually. Go the Schiller. It? Yeah, it really does. impressive. Gorgeous. Um, you are number 33, Anthea, so good luck to you in the draw. And this is number 31, all we need is the stripes in there, don't we? Um, oh, yeah. And this is from Jackie yeah. in Suffolk, which is fabulous, we've got a picture on this side as well, that's good. Um, and uh, Jackie says, here is my first entry to the Wall of Fame. I've only been making jewellery for a few months but I am hooked. The ring and earrings are made from polymer clay dipped in glitter and then studded with star head pins. All supplies from JM, of course. That's brilliant. Well Fantastic. done. I love that. Gosh, really, um, fabulous. Really characteristic That's, design, yeah, isn't it? Love Fantastic. It. Well, good luck yeah. to everybody who has entered the draw. And thank you so much for sending your designs in. Don't worry, everybody has been entered into the draw. We are now going to go to a quick break. When we return, we are going to be launching a very, very popular strand of Tiger's Eye coming to you in these multi-tonal colours, some of which I've never seen before. I've never seen Tiger's Eye in some of these colour tones. So. I do think it's going to be popular, especially when I tell you that it's coming to you at a premiere launch price of under £10. So don't move a muscle. We'll be back in two. Jewelry makers, if you're a free view viewer, you can now continue to watch the show live by switching over to channel 64. Our brand new 24 hour channel is available to the majority of homes in the UK. So grab your remote now to make sure you don't miss a thing. Jewelry Maker is your one stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. Our mission is to provide you with the best quality products, value for money an excellent customer service. Come and learn with us. Tune in every day from 9am to 9pm. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Thank you to all of our customers who voted for Jewelry Maker to be nominated at the Make and Sell Jewelry Awards. We've been nominated for eight awards. Please continue to vote for us to win by going to the Make and Sell Jewelry Awards website and registering your vote. Voting closes on the 27th of November. Are you looking to create bespoke bridal jewellery? Then come and join guest designer Sheila on our bridal workshop. Sheila will guide you through how to design stunning accessories, including techniques using headbands, hair combs and tiaras. The full course includes a selection of hair combs and headbands, a selection of findings and wire, a generous scoop of mixed gemstones, use of all relevant tools, a buffet style lunch and refreshments, a tour of the studios and a trip to our gemstone museum. All of this for just £69.95. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 
every colour of the rainbow in this gorgeous strand of tiger's eye. Over 250 carats in your plain 10 mil rounds here. And actually, whilst I say that, I suppose when people generally think of sort of a rainbow of colours, they think of quite vibrant colour tones. These are actually quite dramatic and muted for my money there. You've got the sort of midnight blues and the, the petrol greens, those rich hot pinks, and then this colour tone that I haven't seen very often, in fact, these sort of um, amber tones perhaps, or cognac shades. So um, very, very impressive strand of tigers are here. As I say, featuring colour tones I've never seen in Tiger's Eye previously. Now, not only do you get this huge amount of creative scope through the variety of different colours, but you also get that quite subtle but very prominent optical phenomenon from your Tiger's Eye known as your toyancy. And it's this almost cat's eye like effect that you get on the surface of a gemstone. Hopefully, I'm able to get that across. Do you see that? Absolutely fantastic. I love this one. This one for me is the one that I'm drawn to. I imagine uh, producer D likes the blues there. Look at, do you like that blue one? Look at that little stripe of electric blue chatoyancy against the backdrop of those midnight blues. That's gorgeous, isn't it? And so actually you could sort of colour graduate out the strand, couldn't you? Which would look very effective. Actually, you could put these alongside a lot of the feathers that we've seen this morning because you've got the turquoise and the teal colour tones. Mm. You've got the fuchsia colours. You've also got the reds on here as well. You could. So you could use yeah, it alongside yeah, yeah. your feathers quite easily. 10 millimetre plain rounds here. So, um, of course, these have uh, had this gorgeous polishing technique applied, which actually allows that Chateau and C to come to the forefront of the gemstone itself. I just love the colour tones. Wow. Now, sorry, the reason I just got shot there is because I just saw how many people are on the phone lines and we have already created a little bit of a queue around about 40 seconds for this strand. We haven't even released the price point yet. Of course, this morning, because this is a premiere launch, we are going to give you an exclusive launch price. Can't guarantee that this price point will be honoured at 9am tomorrow. Hopefully it will, but definitely the best chance to get involved with this deal is going to be right now. If not only because it might have sold out by 9am tomorrow morning. Well, we started with a few hundred strands of this, but I think a hundred of them have already been allocated. Of course, if people are shopping online, they can already see the intended price point. Is that correct? Okay, so uh, just to make it fair, it's not holding our phone buyers back anyway, because Rena, oh, I'm dubbing her in again. She's got <laughs> three, whoops. Sandra's got two. Uh, Alison on our phone lines has got two as well. Uh, lots and lots of people coming through on the free phone. And of course, the best idea is to put yourself to the front of the queue. You can always put the phone down. You can always uh, throw something out your basket, but if you do miss it, then you'll miss out. Another text from Della, and she says, OMG, oh my goodness, that's gorgeous. My fave stone in my fave colour, pink. Yeah, you got mine, thank you. Ah, so um, straight away, Della's been drawn to the colour tones that she enjoys working with, but that's the beauty of this strand, multicoloured here. So you've got something for every jewelry making scenario. Okay, I think to be fair, we're gonna have to bring the price point on screen because you can see how quickly these are being allocated to people's orders. Again, the quantity bar can't really keep up with the demand here. Um, let's get that exclusive launch price on screen, 7.95 this morning for 270 carats of gorgeous tiger's eye coming to you probably in uh, uh, more color tones than I've ever seen a strand of tiger's eye. And, um, We've gone global on this deal, so we've got people coming in from across Europe as well as the States for this particular deal. And I will give you an idea of just how long this strand is. I think it's going to be another 40 centimetre strand. Let's just check. Actually, it's uh, even longer than that. But let's, let's say conservatively 40 centimetres. This one does actually measure 41 and a half centimetres. But yeah, um, a minimum of 40 centimetres on each strand of tiger's eye. 10 mil rounds, so quite high impact, not just from the size of the gemstones, but of course the colour tones and your optical effect there, known as Chateauian. So you can see now that we are now approaching double figures of availability, and we say that as 
a rather large queue starts to form on our phone lines. I do see this as being a sellout deal this morning. Um, there's a 90 second wait on the phone lines already and we still have people coming through to add this to their order. Of course people know about the quality of our gemstones because we're part of the Genuine Gemstone Company but Tiger's Eye is one of those gemstones that has been pretty much an ever present here on Jewelry Maker. We've always been quite successful in sourcing this gemstone and so I think a lot of our regular buyers not only aware of the quality of Tiger's Eye we bring you but probably quite au fait with working with the gemstone as well so you probably have quite um, a consistent finish to your designs when you're working with Tiger's Eye because you're more experienced in working with the gemstone. Now these are your 10 mil rounds I will just say that uh, we've got these threaded onto uh, the sort of cotton thread so that goes to show the size of a drill hole you have no problem with your beading thread and um, certain cords getting through those drill holes there either um, now we are looking at a queue on our phone lines of around about two and a half minutes, I'll just say um, a buyer from Essex, a gentleman from Essex has just bought five strands of this one, he's got through on the phone line, so that goes to show you, dial early, I never know how many people are going to take, so if you've got 200 strands and 100 people phone up, somebody could still miss out if everybody was to take two or three. So. In fact, most people are multi-buying. It's probably because of the price point as well as the quality of the gemstone, in all honesty. And that is how I assess value here at Jewelry Maker. The price point we can offer you, under £10 for 270 carats, versus the quality and the creative scope. So lots of creative scope here because of the variation in the colour tones. Absolutely exquisite quality, and you can see that from the optical effect, and then and add it to your order price. You're only ever going to pay one PMP per day of just 2 95 If maybe you got hold of our shopping bag as a early bird this morning, which I think about three or 400 people did, um, and you got your order up and running as a result, why not maximise on that one PMP per day? You know you're going to need colourful gemstones. You know that gemstones with an optical effect tend to draw more attention to your designs. And of course, at 7 95 it's a no-brainer really for most jewellery makers and that's why I would say at least, well, say about 50% of, of the customers on this have actually multi-bought the strands. So that just goes to show how impressive that price point is. I'm going to leave that to one side for a second. Is that, is that correct? Yes, okay, because we are going to give a quick recap to our bag. We started with about 500 of these this morning. We've now got about, how many? We've got 59 remaining. So that's a tenth of the stock, oh no, no, not quite a tenth, a uh, ninth of the stock remaining. Ridiculous. Oh, I was annoyed, <laughs> I was annoyed with myself there for getting my maths wrong. What would Rachel Riley say? <laughs> <laughs> yes, she, that's exactly what she'd say. My director said she'd say, get away from me, I don't even know who you are. <laughs> she does know me actually, she sent me a signed photo. No. <laughs> Name dropping. <laughs> Certainly because I know her producer on the Gadget Show. <laughs> she doesn't, she she doesn't watch Jewelry Maker. <laughs> she doesn't watch Jewelry Maker. Maybe she does. You never know. She might, yeah. I've got an offer anyway. I found out what football team she supports. Right. Let's have a look at the Crafting Shopper Bag. Now, this is, was launched at 9 a.m. this morning. And as I say, we started with about 500 in stock. We've now got 50 remaining. That just goes to show its popularity. Oh, is that the new amount of people that have come through since you've... Wow, already huge amounts of people coming through on the phone lines. People multi-buying instantly. This is going to sell out before 1 p.m. by the looks of it. My word. Now, um, we did go through just how large the bag was and how much stuff you could fit in it. And so we'll be able to review that as I take it all out. So I had all three of, of these boards in one compartment of the bag. Three tool kits. <laughs> uh, this huge bag of wire in there as well that's all just in the main compartment that, that all of that fitted in the main compartment um, this is where I put the boards in this this section here quite wide covers the uh, length of the bag uh, then you've got all of these compartments here handy storage compartments sort of um, I was gonna say mobile phone size but actually these days people's mobile phones are like tiny aren't they getting old isn't it <laughs> there you've got another compartment on the side 
the uh, the front sections are mirrored on the back so then you've got another large compartment there so you can get your your tablet or your kindle or whatever else it is that people carry around in there or oh, oh, bottles of wine Sheila was suggesting <laughs> instantly I know uh, that's that just you know it's just relaxing and on the beach well it is relaxing to drink a bottle of wine you're quite right Sheila <laughs> No, I mean, you know, it's just when you're on holiday. What are you doing I'm, for lunch? I'm thinking, no, 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 I'm thinking when you take your jewellery on holiday. Oh, I know, I'm just oh, messing, I'm sorry. I don't drink that much these days. <laughs> <laughs> I can't now. Anyway, not that I'll We believe you. I'm, I'm not going to say anymore now because I'm just, it's getting worse, isn't it? <laughs> I only like a social drink of wine. You're very sociable though, aren't you? That's the thing. Do you <laughs> I'm winding you up this one. I'm sorry, Sheila. Right, OK. All right. So yeah, if you right. do want to add this back to your I'm order... I'm so gullible me, you see. I believe everything. <laughs> I'm only messy. I know. I I, know. We believe everything. We believe you don't like a drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We are having a little bit of fun this morning, but one thing we are taking seriously is providing you with the best prices on the market and not only that but also providing you with storage solutions transport solutions in the form of our bag we touched on this earlier this morning that it would make a perfect gift for a jewelry maker of course so if you do know somebody in your world who is an avid or crafting of any type really this could be the perfect christmas gift for them because of course maybe you are not aware of the kind of disciplines they work within the kind of tools that their style of jewellery requires and uh, this would be the perfect way to show that you are in tune with what they love to do but you don't necessarily want to uh, take a punt if you like on the kind of wire they gauges of wire they might use or the kind of tools they might require a nice generic item like this shows that you are aware of their hobby so it's quite thoughtful without being you know, without you having to edge edge your bets, if you like. Do you, do you know what I mean? Um, less than twenty pound for this item. Do you know what I mean? Gina? Yeah, of course I do. Yeah, because I think you know. I think a lot of people, when they are involved in jewelry making, it becomes their world, doesn't it? It really oh, takes it, up well, most it, of the it day. Does, it does take over. I mean, yeah. I, I know how many hours I spend, and it does. It's Absolutely. yeah. I have to fit everything around doing that, and if it doesn't get done, it doesn't get done. But of course, if you live with a jewelry maker, you might know that they're obsessed with jewelry making, but you don't know what tool they need or no, what no, wire no, no. they use no, or what, no. even what gemstones they love, because all gemstones are so beautiful. You don't necessarily know which ones they're drawn to. So an item like this would make a great gift, wouldn't it? I mean, you wouldn't complain. Oh, no, I wouldn't actually. I hope somebody's these, watching and thinking, oh, In yeah. fact, you better keep your fingers crossed that there's one of there's these available one. at 1 pm, to be honest, Sheila. I Although know. you did run off set earlier. Was I that did, to but I never. No, I, <gasps> no, that was some. If you hold one of these, I'm seriously not saying this to put any pressure on you. I'm saying it because it's true. There are. How many, sorry? There's 30 remaining in stock. Yeah, and we've got a queue of about two minutes on the phone line, so I reckon that's going to be a sellout deal, you know. Second, sir. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I thought it was something to do with the delivery of the bag, but we're just receiving a delivery of products for our next show. Don't forget the Designer Inspiration Show coming up at 1 pm with Becky and. Um, a little more focus on project work in those hours. We're going to move on because um, it does look like our bag is going to be a sellout this morning. Um, but don't take my word for it. Make sure you do speak to a member of the help team to see whether or not there is any stock available. And if you are one of the 20 or 30 people that plays in their basket, I would check out now or expect to miss out, in my opinion. Um, we're going to move on now. And we're going to bring you some threading materials. Now, these are your satin cords they come in your 10 millimeter lens sorry okay so our system is displaying um that the bag has now been a sellout oh, so, oh, i'm uh, not at all surprised no. ed no there you go well that just goes to show you that uh, even our expert designers can't get hold of them <laughs> not <picking laughs> enough. unfortunately um so these the really interesting thing about these particular reels of uh, satin cord is that they come on the little bobbin reels so it makes it easier for doing particular disciplines doesn't it like your macrame and your uh, kumihimo for example ah wind the bobbin oh. wind the bobbin up. Up. my, my mum used to work in a, in a nursery pull 
clap, clap, clap. Point to the ceiling, point to the floor, point to the window and point to the door. Clap your hands together, one, two, three. Put your hands up on your knees. Yay! I like it. You never forget them, do you? <laughs> CBBs, I am available for <laughs> presenting what you have available for me. <laughs> okay, these are your one millimetre satin cores. They come in your 10 metre lens and, and uh, you've got these gorgeous colour tones here. You've got that beautiful baby pink. You've got two reels of your navy cord. Is that correct? Should, have two, should we have two of the navies? Yep. Uh, one of your black and one of your white. Yeah. Oh, yes, I see. Black, white and pink. But doubling up on the blue satin cord here, producer dear. Anybody would think that you like blue or something. She loves blue. She loves blue. Regular viewers will understand the joke there. Dion loves blue. It's her favourite colour. She's got to wear something blue, though. Come on, Sorry? Dion. She's got to wear something blue. Oh yeah, in fact, um, not this Monday, but the Monday coming up is actually a whole blue show, a bit of blue for the jewellery makers coming up uh, next, uh, next Monday, week on Monday. So there you go, uh, a, a whole show focused on Dion's favourite colour and, and she says she'll definitely be wearing blue that morning. So if you're not on the show, tune in, Sheila. I will. Um, 50 metres of satin cord here, as I say, pink, black, white, and uh, 20 metres of your navy blue. Let's have a look at your add it to your order price point for the wind the bobbin up bundle. 895, sorry? Yeah, do it. Lowest possible price we can show you here on the live shows. We're going to take it down to 6.95. Don't forget price reductions here on the morning show. Only available until 9am tomorrow when we go live again. So if you want to add this to your order, you need to act very, very quickly. And Pauline straight in on the text to say hi all. Fantastic bargains and free entertainment today. Brilliant. <laughs> Love Pauline. Sheila. You're entertaining the troops. <laughs> and um, yes, 6.95. I mean, I think everybody's getting a little bit um, excited, really, by the amount of opportunities that we are bringing you today. Incredible bargains. I mean, this shouldn't even be at that price. Should have been 8.95. But just because we know how popular a lot of the braiding techniques are, We've taken it down to 6.95 to make it as accessible as possible and to give you as many opportunities as you can to add to that one PMP per day. So 50 metres there, including 20 metres of your navy satin cord, all for 6.95. Huge number of people on the phone lines once again. Um, don't panic if you ever come through to a queue. Stay where you are. Our help team are fantastic and they will work through the calls as quickly as possible. Say again, sorry. Yes, we've got a couple of Premier launches still to bring you. Um, we're going to leave that one with you, in fact. I'm going to move that to one side and I'll show you what we have coming up. Two Premier strands of Crackle Quartz. Now, for me, I'm instantly sort of transported to a bit of a winter wonderland when I look at these two gemstones, not just because they're so complementary in creating that sort of icy feel with the, uh, those gorgeous blues and the crackled effect on both gemstones. Fantastic texture from these gemstones and it's because of the crackled effect now I'll just say that earlier on we were talking about high-end gemstones and we were sort of holding them up to you know quite a lot of scrutiny re scrutiny <laughs> really easy for me to say huh there you go holding them up to quite a lot of scrutiny because we were trying to compare them to uh, the four C's that a master jeweler would apply. Well, sometimes that is where we're going with our designs. We're trying to achieve that elite high-end look. However, as jewelry makers, we do have more opportunities to work with a greater number of gemstones. And of course, sometimes an included gemstone can actually be the basis for a design. It can provide us with the kind of texture and character we're looking for. That's why on this particular strand, we've actually created these inclusions. We've induced this, if you like, within Mother Nature's hard work. We do that by um, raising the temperature of the gemstone and then 
instantly plunge it into ice cold temperatures, it creates this quenched or crackled effect, which does provide you with that gorgeous texture. These are 10 millimeter rounds, so quite high impact, and that means that you get over 250 carats on this particular strand. The reason I love the, the clear quartz in the crackled effect is because of that neutrality. It adds to your design by injecting that little bit of character and texture without overpowering the design. So it won't detract from another gemstone because of that neutrality, because of that clarity, but at the same time, it still adds something to the design. These, again, perfect for your maybe seasonal designs, if you're thinking about winter-like designs, or, of course, bridal commissions. Really, really popular. And um, you can actually see when I place it, bringing that colour through. So, again, helps you to... Ah, that one there. You see it there? Slightly blue tone there, picking it up from the other gemstone because of those inclusions. Definitely on this side here, fantastic. So, as I say, lots of versatility from this strand because it works with virtually any other gemstone and a huge impact from your 10 mil polished rounds here. Once again, this is a premier launch, so we are gonna give you an exclusive launch price. And here it comes, under 10 pounds for 260 carats of your crackled white quartz here. 10 mil playing rounds, 9.95. Again, could be considered another add it to your order price point for genuine gemstones this morning. I mean, I uh, have been told by experienced designers that you can pay higher price points for synthetics than they buy um, their genuine gemstones from us here at Jewelry Maker. So that's, you know, a ringing endorsement of, of the kind of value we offer you. 9.95 for 260 carats. Sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? sounds absolutely ridiculous 260 carats uh, for 9.95 another add it to your order price and uh, we've got the blue variety coming up before 1 p.m. we're now going to bring you a bundle right up my street so maybe we've got this the wrong way around do because you love blue gemstones and I love pink gemstones it's a bit funny isn't it I'm just so comfortable with my masculinity that I know that's I your can feminine side pull, coming out, you pull see off it. the uh, the pink gemstones. Well, um, Ollie's just suggesting that maybe we should have a little bit of a, a nail date on Monday and go for a little manicure together on Monday. Um, unfortunately, I can't do that, Ollie, because I uh, I do my own manicures. <laughs> <laughs> I was recording a patina. DVD the other night with Gemma Crow and she uses a nail buffer as part of the process and she was like have you seen one of these before and I was like I've got one <laughs> I was well chuffed with myself I was like yeah I've got one of those really there you go now in his break director Ollie called his uh, his wife and she the first thing she commented on was my hands and my nails actually do you know what I have had female presenters around the building say to me where do you get your nails done and I said, I do them myself. <laughs> you don't have to do the washing up, I'll do you? I'll tell you what. Have we got... Uh, don't do any housework. I do the housework. All washing up. I do all the washing up, cooking. Do you, Ed? Oh. Yeah. It's well-trained. Hey? Well-trained. Well-trained? Well -trained. <laughs> it's my house. <laughs> I run a tight ship. Let's get back into the gemstones. That's what we're really here for. And I have to say, here at Jewelry Maker, in fact, the entire company, the Genuine Gemstone Company, everybody is passionate about bringing you fantastic value for Genuine Gemstones, and we make Genuine Gemstones as accessible as possible. How do we do it? By getting as close to source as possible, and therefore passing those savings on to you. That's exactly what we're gonna do with this wholesale bundle, gorgeous, Beautiful pink colour tones here, and a, and, a, and a gorgeous range of colours actually. They they graduate perfectly, don't they? So you've got the baby pinks here in your plain rounds. These are seven millimetres in size. And that's your pink quartz. Then have a look at that. Your hot pink tones there in your plain rounds, but this time they are. Oh, hold on a second. I think there should be another strand. Ah, I see. Okay, 
so uh, somebody had been admiring it. It's just heading back to us now, so there is another strand involved with this one. Right, okay, so you've got the, um, the seven mil. Right, so these are nine millimetres, and these are more of a sort of candy floss pink, aren't they? So you've got the baby pink in your seven mil, the candy floss pink in your nine mil, then you've got the hot pink in your 10 mil, and then in your faceted rice beads, you've got this, uh, again, it's a, a sort of fuchsia tone, rather than a hot pink, a fuchsia, slightly less vibrant than the hot pink there, and that's a fuchsia tone there. In your faceted rice beads, those are 12 by eight millimeters in size. So four strands of gemstones in total, at some point, um, just admiring this. Is this how they will arrive, or do they come stranded? Ah, OK, so these actually come as loose gemstones. That's OK, then. Um, so that's what you're going to receive. Four individual strands, all of the pinks there, perfect for people who enjoy working with the more feminine tones. I know there's a lot of girly girls out there, but also if you are creating designs to sell, of course, they tend to be very, very popular, the more feminine designs, don't they? So all of your pink bases covered here with this particular bundle, four strander, and let's have a look at our wholesale price, 11.95, less than three pounds a strand. Two pound 99 and a little bit. So yeah, two pound 99 a strand effectively. Oh no, less than that in fact, two pound 98. That's what it is. So we'll say 2.99 per strand. And these are genuine gems. You get huge carrot weights here. Five, six, seven, eight hundred 800 carats of gemstones for 12 pounds. One of the reasons I do love pink gemstones. Shall I tell you why I love pink gemstones? And it does come from my sales background within the jewellery industry. It's not just because I'm very effeminate. It's also because I have spent uh, a quarter of my life selling jewellery designs and um, I've never had a problem selling the feminine gemstones. They always tend to exude luxury and they've always proved to be very, very popular. And so you can actually maybe rely on that information if you are selling your designs at craft fairs. Trust me, if you make jewellery using your pink gemstones, they're going to be sellable. People are going to want to own that beautiful feminine jewellery. And uh, we're now going to bring you another wholesale deal, this time in the form of your essential findings. Now, if I remember rightly, you get about 2,000 pieces in these kits, don't you? And these, they're very comprehensive. They're all of your essential findings. They're the things that you tend to need day to day. And uh, we bulk it up by providing you with a huge array of spacer beads as well. So take you through what you've got. Um, I think you get 30 pounds of shepherd's hooks. Yes, you do. <laughs> you get six individual earring findings, six, uh, 30 pairs in total. Then you've got your jump rings. You get 200 gold plated jump rings. You've then got your ribbon cord ends, you get eight of those, they're 12 by four millimeters in size. Again, gold plated. You get three, I, I, think, I think you get three meter lengths. So yeah, I'm just gonna check. Yeah, you do, yeah? Okay, cool. So uh, three, one meter lengths of chain, all gold plated, so that's gonna go an awfully long way. Um, then you've got your toggle clasps, and I think you get 30 of those as well, don't you? Yes, 30 toggle class. Well, I've done well remembering the specification here. And then 2,100 individual spacer beads. Those are your two millimeter spacer beads. So they could be used in maybe um, sort of micro macrame designs. They can be used maybe to make your gemstones go a little bit further in your designs if you want to use them as spacers or actually have seen them being used to create the little beady beads, which are fantastic. Sheila, what, uh, um, what do you think of this? I, fantastic. I was only saying the other day, I always run out of things, whether it be space, little spacer beads or the crimp beads. Right. You've never, ever got enough. Right, so you can never have enough of those. So to get a enough, collection no. that features over 2,000. And the clasps, I mean, this morning, you know, I've been looking around to find some in the spare findings, you know, kits, because 
Yeah, they go so quickly. Absolutely. They go so quickly. You just can't account for how many findings you're going to need. And uh, again, lots of regular buyers coming through at jewelrymaker.com to make the most of this very comprehensive and wholesale findings deal here. And I have actually been in the position where I've been halfway through a design and not had the necessary finding to complete the design. Very, very frustrating, of course. And uh, this allows you to really stock up on all of your essential findings. Over 2,000 pieces of gold-plated copper here in your shepherd hooks, your jump rings, your ribbon cord endings, three meters of chain, your toggle clasp, and over 2,000 spacer beads, all for one ridiculous price just 32.95 lots of people once again coming through their regular buyers and uh, familiar names this morning maximizing on their 1 pmp per day of just 295 so if you are coming through for for that particular deal then congratulations because again it almost uh, insinuates that you do have quite a successful jewelry making business as well because of course even if you're a hobbyist and you want to stock up that's perfect but if you are selling your designs if you're sort of bulk buying and you're making the most of these wholesale price points, it might allow you to work on slightly lower margins yourself and create more affordable designs. Um, that can only be a good thing for your customers, of course. 32.95, we are gonna leave that one with you now um, as people come flying through at jewelrymaker.com. And uh, we're gonna move on because we're gonna bring you our other premier strand of crackled quartz. These are your eight mil rounds. We've just seen the 10 mil clear quartz. This time, you've got your sort of sky blue tone. Or maybe uh, more of a sort of, um, actually, it's like an appetite blue, isn't it? I absolutely love this, because on some gemstones, you've got that sort of subtle sky blue or powder blue tone. On others, you've got more of that neon hue coming through. So again, all about variety, all about creative opportunities. And this definitely offers you that, because again, you've got those crackling inclusions, which are going to provide you with that texture and you've got a very subtle variation on the colour tone there, as I say, from sky blues up to neon blues. It's almost like a, a strand of appetite in that respect. Eight mil rounds of your blue crackled quartz, giving you 170 carats. And as ever, we are going to give you an exclusive launch price this morning. Easily your best opportunity to get involved with this deal. And um, as I say, when we matched it up with the crackled quartz, it almost had a very winter-like feel to it, doesn't it? Those icy blues start to come through. Let's have a look at our exclusive launch price this morning for this strand. 7.95 for 170 carats of any gemstone is ridiculous, but when you think about the number of processes this has gone through, obviously you actually had to source jewellery quality quartz. Then we've had to send it to the other side of the world and perfectly and um, exactly polish each of these to that 8 millimetre size. Then of course it's been through the, um, the heat treatment that gives it those crackled inclusions as well. So very labour intensive strand, but of course, as ever, the price point is not reflective of that here at Joymaker. Certainly not on our exclusive launch. Easily the best opportunity to get involved with this deal. If you do want to add it to your order, you need to be dialing that free phone number right now. And um, unfortunately, if you are just dialing the number now, you expect to come through to a bit of a queue. It's around about a minute and a half, so 90 second wait on the free phone number. Uh, don't panic because you will be answered in the order in which you dial. You're going to come through to a member of our um, very talented help team who will allow you to add this to your order for just 7 95 which again, I can only describe as an add it to your order price. Now, we only had 100 of these. We've got much fewer than that available now. Again, lots and lots of people multi-buying this to make the most of the value that we're offering you here on this strand, but also to maximise on that one PMP per day of just 2.95. You can see that already a quarter of the stock has been allocated to orders. They are flying out the door. So please, if you're interested in this strand, act quickly to avoid disappointment. And now all of a sudden the phone buyers are starting to come through and they are multi-buying in their droves as we approach the halfway point for the stock here on this one. You know, I never want to feel like I'm pressuring anybody to get involved, but then again, I always get in trouble because people miss out after the show. So when I say things, I'm sorry if it sounds repetitive, I'm sorry if it sounds like I'm pressuring you, but it's only because I know that so many people leave items sitting in their basket 
and then someone like Andrea from Kent comes through, a talented and successful jewelry maker who wants three strands, and then somebody. So, and the thing is, you don't need to be decisive. You don't need to make your final decision right now. You have a 30-day money-back guarantee. The decision-making process begins when this arrives at your door. So, absolutely nothing to worry about. Simply add this to your order, get it home and uh, appreciate it in the flesh. That's always the best way to make an accurate assessment of genuine gemstones anyway. You need to see them in, um, I suppose, in daylight is the best way to, to make a, a, a fair judgment about your gemstones. Eight millimeter rounds available right now for 7.95. Seven ninety-five is the added to your order price on this particular strand. One hundred and seventy carats in total. Gorgeous sort of um, range between the sky blues, the swimming pool blues, and the neon tones. There, um, as I say, lots of people still waiting on the phone. I stay where you are. And uh, yes, there you go. We've actually got people buying again from uh, over in the states. Incredible. I'm going to leave that one with you because we do have a little bit of a queue forming on the phone line. So if you want to add that to your order, please act now. If you've got it placed in your basket, check out. Um, now, we've still got a few of these, really. Uh -huh, that's useful because um, I'm guessing the reason we've got sort of residual stock, if you like, of this strand is that people have placed it in the basket and not checked out. That's one explanation because you saw how quickly these were being allocated to people's orders. This was our multicolored tiger's eye that we brought you not too long ago, probably about half an hour ago or so. And uh, probably one of the most impressive strands of tiger's eye we've had here at Drawmaker purely because of the myriad of colors that are offered here and, of course, the incredible price point. Seven ninety five. I can't believe that we can bring you Tiger's Eye of this quality in this array of colours for less than £10. Especially because you've got a 10mm around here, so it will make an impact not just because of the colour tone, not just because of the optical effect, but the actual size of a gemstone itself allows it to be the focal point of your design, doesn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Okay, still people coming through for that one, but again, we are now approaching limited availability on that, so please, if you've got it placed in your basket, check out to avoid disappointment. Moving on, and, ah, now this is rather gorgeous because we're looking at lemon quartz here, and you often think of this as quite a, a sort of sunny gemstone, which I think could be quite useful in the winter months because if you think that once it starts to get a bit cold which it is here today in the Midlands a bit drizzly um, I think people tend to start wearing more subdued color tones so the greys the blacks the browns in the autumn and winter months it might be that you want to use your accessories your jewelry to actually inject a bit of color and vibrancy into your ensemble for the day. We've got three creative and design process because it allows you to always know you're creating very comprehensive and coherent designs because the gemstones definitely gonna work together, but the variation in the cuts and the shapes allows you to express your own design concept. 100 carats of lemon quartz here in your plain drops and these range in size from five mil to 12 mil. Huge carat weight there, 100 carats in total there. Uh, top drill droplets there ranging from five mil up to 12 mil. Then we've got your broader pair drops. And these range in size from 10 by eight to 18 by 12, giving you 80 carats on that strand. And then we've got your faceted ovals there. So you've got that little bit of sparkle as well with this 
particular bundle. And you've got 60 carats of your fasted ovals, and they range in size as well, graduating from 10 by 8 to 17 by 12. So gorgeous, zesty colour tones here. Really? Wow, my producer just told me the price point. I hope you've already started dialing the free phone number. You are not going to be disappointed. All three strands come from our Gems of Distinction range. They represent the highest possible quality of lemon quartz that we can source for you here at Jewelry Maker. And uh, then we go and bring you a ridiculous price point like this for a gemstone that actually we don't see every day here at Jewelry Maker. I mean, Elsewhere, you wouldn't exactly be disappointed if one of these strands, you know, let's say somebody said, oh, I'll give you 100 carats for 19.95 from other suppliers, you'd be uh, beside yourself, wouldn't you? You'd snap that off them. But now that jewellery makers here, you know the kind of value we can provide you. A three-strand pack coming from our Gems of Distinction range. Fantastic clarity, gorgeous colour tone there, all for 19.95. Patricia's already texted in to say those will look lovely with the blue quartz. Fantastic design suggestion there. Oh, wow. Patricia's just transported me to a, a tropical environment, actually. Dion will like that, you see, with the blue. Oh, it's gorgeous, isn't it? You just feel the like lemon, you're diving the into the, the pool. The lemon quartz is just, it's such a rich, rich, I, feel, lemon, I really it? feel like it's, I'm just sunbathing by the side like of the pool. It's almost like sherbet, isn't it? Mm, yeah, the lemon quartz, yeah, yeah. Very, that's a great way to describe it, actually. Three strands for 19.95, and a great suggestion there from Patricia. Don't forget, if you want to get involved with the show, maybe you've got a top tip, maybe you just want to take the mickey out of me, don't <laughs> hesitate. Just text in 60777, start your text with the phrase JM Studio. Nineteen ninety-five for three gems of distinction strands of lemon quartz. Absolutely out of this world. Incredible. Okay, we're going to move on from that particular deal because we've got so much to bring you in the next 20 minutes before we launch our designer inspiration show. And I can see that... Uh, Janet's very busy over there setting up for the show. Uh, are you right, Janet? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Yes. What are we doing today on Design Inspiration? Um, we, well, we've got, um, we've got some macrame. Macrame designs. We've got a bit of crochet. Bit of crochet as well. Sheila, you like a bit of crochet as well, don't I you? I do like a bit of crochet. There you yes, go, I do. Yeah. Anything else? Uh, party wear. Party wear. Oh, and a few surprises as well. Yeah. We, don't, we won't reveal it all right now. You have to tune in at 1 p.m. Nice to see you, Janet. So Janet's just setting up for the Designer Inspiration Show, which kicks off at 1 p.m. with Becky as your host. Um, where are we going to move on to? Okie dokie. And more of these beautiful feminine colour tones. So again, you're already on to a winner, aren't you? You know that the pink gemstones are going to be big sellers. Because I've shared my personal experience in the industry with you about that. But here, this is a... Uh, an additional selling point here is that you've got the star shapes and actually you could probably mm, incorporate these as flower designs potentially five petal flower if you really if you wanted to because you've got the softer color tone i think they are intended to be stars of course it's, which is another yeah, iconic it, shape i mean what you can do you can have those for a little girl's headband you know Absolutely. for either a christening or a or a wedding or a you know special occasion Oh, they my would nine year old daughter on it, on would it. love those. Yeah, they would sit really nice on it on a headband. And you don't need to use a great deal of them either because they are very sizable. They're 16 millimetres in size, so they are going to make you know, a real visual impact on your designs. You don't necessarily need to pile carrot weight into those designs, but it would go, if you got hold of that pink bundle, I mean, it's the perfect addition, isn't it? gorgeous I'm in my element now um, <laughs> so these are stars this is another double deal here so again we've taken the strand we've doubled it up so that we can provide you with a wholesale deal and again the only drawback here is that means we've halved our stock levels so you do need to be dialing the free phone number early to make sure 
you are getting involved with this particular deal. Rose Quartz Stars here, 16 millimeters in size, offering you, is that normally 230 carats on one strand? Because I, I don't think it would be 115. It feels like more than 115 carats on each strand. So that means you're getting 460 carats on this bundle. Incredible. That is just ridiculous carrot weight to even be talking about, especially for a wholesale double trouble price point like this. £7.50 for over 200 carats of rose quartz stars. Of course, when you're working with rose quartz, it tends to actually be very, very popular because a lot of people tell me that when they're selling their designs, they tend to actually be selling to a customer base that does have an understanding of you know, the metaphysical properties or the crystal healing properties, if you like. You know, I would never um, advise that you buy a gemstone for that reason, but I know there are a lot of gems, uh, a lot of jewelry makers out there and a lot of gemstone enthusiasts that do sort of uh, focus on that side of gemology. And um, rose quartz is thought to be a huge amplifier of different energies within that sector. So if that's something that you're interested in, I'm sure you're already aware of that. As I say, I wouldn't advise you buy it for that reason, but actually, even if you think about the the sort of traditional folklore and tradition that's attached to the gemstone like this. It's known as the gemstone of true love. So you couldn't really ask for a more uh, sentimental or romantic view than that, could you? The gemstone of true love. I mean, you can keep these really simple. What about if you just want to make uh, solitaire rings or matching sets? You don't need to do a great deal of work, do you? You can use these as your pendants and your earrings. What's that ring going to sell for? Five pounds, maybe five to ten pounds at your craft fair? whole strand for seven pounds fifty so that means that you could potentially make your money back on one maybe two gemstones maximum on the on each strand absolutely out of this world that means you've got all of these to make profit with over 400 carats for 15 pounds we're moving up wow these are gorgeous now i know that these are going to be called red and green agate aren't they Oh, they are. Oh, that's your bundle name. Yeah, I was going to call it Apple Agate. Me and you're on the same wavelength here. Here we go. Look at this. So, um, yeah, very uh, sort of fruit, fruity colour tones here. The kind of uh, colour zoning you'd expect to see on another of Mother Nature's creations, an apple. That's the way yeah. we're all we're all interpreting it. Apple is a strawberry. There, there's a. It's a banana. <laughs> banana? <laughs> oh, the colour of a banana there, look. I'm just you trying do know to... bananas are you know yellow, don't you? It's the colours of, <laughs> of the rainbow, isn't it, really? I do know what you mean, because on some of them you've got more of the uh, the lighter sort of gold yeah. in rather than the rich saturation of the reds and oranges, absolutely. Um, so you've got... And, and do you get two of each on these bundles, or have I got two samples here, just to check? Okay, here, here, sorry, just checking. Um, you actually get um, your 14 by 10 millimeter barrels and you get your 12 by 7 mil rice beads. You get two of each bundle, of course, as I said earlier. The greater the number of items we place inside a bundle, the lower the price point we can actually provide you with on our wholesale bundle. So, Rosy Apples, very apt name because I think we all interpreted these <laughs> particular strands of agate in the same way because they do have those uh, very vibrant colour tones almost feels like walking through an orchard, doesn't it? 300 carats in your rice beads and 500 carats in your barrels here. So if you want to get involved, you know what to do. You can do so in all the usual ways, but make sure that you're adding these to your order very, very quickly because we are very busy today. Let's have a look at our wholesale price point here. 14.95 for four strands and we're not even staying there. Have you just made that decision on a bit of a whim there? Just to get them down to three pounds per strand, we've taken it down to 11.95 and that is uh, the intended price there, isn't it? So a risk-free shopping experience here. If you're adding this to your order, 
Lots and lots of people getting involved with this. And again, buyers from across the globe appreciate the value that we can provide you with here at Jewelry Maker through our connections, being part of the genuine gemstone company, sourcing gemstones for the lowest possible price and passing those savings on to you. And that's why we're able to bring you a four strand pack here, huge carat weights for less than 12 pounds. Hugely impressive. As I say, if you do want to take advantage of that deal, you need to be dialing the free phone number right now. Um, 11.95, very, very impressive. I'll leave that one with you. Really? Oh, okay, my apologies. Still lots and lots of people flying through on the phone lines and uh, people saying, can they see the rice beads and barrels alongside one another? And absolutely, because uh, this is the other thing about the shapes because they actually complement one another rather beautifully, don't they? You've got a slightly broader finish to the barrels and then you've got this more elongated look to your rice beads. So those do tend to work very, very well together. You can see that. And just have a look at the, the sort of swirl of colour that you've got on each and every gemstone. It gives you a very unique look to each and every design because no two gemstones are going to be identical here. That's what I think a lot of people are looking for with bespoke jewellery design. So, even if you are a hobbyist who's creating the designs for yourself, that's going to work perfectly because nobody else is going to have that design because your gemstones are so individual. And of course, if you're selling your designs in a traditional craft fair setting, then I think that's what the customer base are really looking for when they're investing in bespoke organic jewellery design. Janice has texted in to say they're perfect acorns, Ed, mm. with wire wrapped leaves. That's a great idea. Or even if you've got some of the carved leaves. That yes. could, those could work in those they, designs as well. You know, they'd they? go really nice with those wooden beads as well. That's a great point, actually, because then you've got this sort of uh, that earthiness almost the earthy. of the bar, yeah. if you like, yeah. then, haven't you? Yeah, that's a great idea. So there you go. Now you really are walking through that beautiful orchard, Wood, aren't woodland, you? Woodland, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, gorgeous. Fantastic. As I say, you've got those sort of fruity colour tones there, but it'll work rather beautifully with the earthier colours to create a sort of inspired by Mother Nature style designs. Um, as you can see, I think we're approaching around about half the stock now being allocated on this bundle. And it is rather impressive value when you look at the carrot weight that we're offering you here for this very, very low price point and actually a price point that we shouldn't have gone anywhere near. We're going to leave that one now uh, and we're going to move on. Ooh, exciting. We've created a double trouble deal with Larimar. Now, Larimar is one of those gemstones that tends to be sold in quite restricted locations. Um, you'll see a lot of it being sold in the Caribbean. Um, usually sourced in the Dominican Republic and you'll find that um, cruise liners for example a lot of Larimar jewellery is sold in those kind of venues and and actually on cruise liners they'll have whole sort of um, seminars dedicated to this gemstone because it is such an iconic stone in certain regions of the world I mean it just screams Caribbean and tropical sort of uh, colour tones to you doesn't it these are quite interesting because I've seen the rough Larimars in the past here on Joy Maker, but these are much larger carrot weights and beautifully polished. Um, again, I can tell you a little story about Larimar actually from my time here at Jewelry Maker. And uh, as I said earlier, I used to be a producer on Gems TV when I first started with the company. And I was actually privileged enough to do the first ever Larimar launch. This is actually before um, Steve bought the company back, so this is under the old regime. I did the original launch, it was a, a huge promoted launch on a Sunday night, Larimar jewellery, an hour, and I ran out of designs after 45 minutes because it was I, I like so Larimar. popular. Mm. So it is, yeah, I like Larimar. Didn't even get a chance to sort of crash the price on many of the designs before they'd sold out. So that just goes to show the popularity. And of course, Gems TV viewers are very, very um, well educated in the inherent value of gemstones, of course. So they were straight on the phone lines to snap these up. And you can be quite 
I suppose, strategic in how much Laramar you're going to place inside your design so that you can maximise on your profitability. You'll find that Laramar jewellery tends to demand some three figure, even four figure sums for some Laramar jewellery, accented with diamonds. I have seen it in the past, so it is a very um, prestigious gemstone. And normally, one strand of Laramar would cost $34.95. And that in itself is incredible value. I often speak to gemstone collectors who own Laramar and they say they saw it when they were abroad, totally out of their price range, and they probably thought they'd never have the opportunity to own Laramar. And then of course, jewelry maker comes along, gives you a sort of wholesale price point and gives you the opportunity to actually offer your customers a gemstone that they might not have the opportunity to own any other time. These are your puffy coins. They range in size from six to nine millimeters in size. It's a double trouble deal. It does come from our Gems of Distinction range. This is the finest possible quality of Laramar we can source for you. Normally one strand would be $34.95. And for 75 carats, that means that you're paying 50p a carat for Laramar any other day. But as part of a double trouble deal, we are about to blow that price out of the water. It's only worth competing with ourselves these days in terms of the value we can offer you. $49.95. So you're getting 150 carats for 50 pounds. Oh, what? <gasps> You're getting 75 carats of Laramar for five pounds. That is out of this world. I'm actually, I'm actually, uh, I'm actually shocked. I can feel my heart beating a little bit quicker. No, I might have to sit down like the girls do pretty soon. Laramar for five pounds. Huh? What? Normally one strand's $34.95, tonight two strands, uh, tonight, this afternoon two strands for $39.95. That's the equivalent of getting a strand of Laramar for five pounds. Goodness me. Just because a gemstone's blue doesn't mean you have to devalue it. <laughs> She's like, they are blue. I don't think that the gemstone industry is going to accept this excuse when they heist you up <laughs> to say excuse me this this woman here what's she doing to Larimar? that's that is incredible do you know what uh, well you know we're not we're not upset about it we want to make genuine gemstones accessible we want to give you as many opportunities as we can to own these gorgeous gemstones but Obviously, being part of the Genuine Gemstone Company, we do walk a fine line here on Jewelry Maker. We never want to devalue a gemstone, but to bring you Laramar for that price point is totally unbelievable. I am shocked. You know you're onto a winner if I'm ever lost for words. I mean, I'm trying to think about the kind of um, gemstones that you might use to complement this. Uh, I mean, the crackle quartz will obviously work with anything. But what about if you want to go in a completely different direction? Would it work alongside here for a bit of colour blocking? I think so, yes, yeah? definitely. I think that's gorgeous. Mm. It does, because actually bronze mm. and sort of turquoise stones do tend to be quite popular. And this is just a, a slight play on that, isn't it? with the burgundy tones, because the pearl essence is sort of bronzish or Well, as we noticed tone. earlier, with those feathers, with the turquoise feathers and the purple feathers, mm, that's, yes. that's a very similar combination. Absolutely. I think how it, it really goes so well. It looks beautiful, actually. Love that. Lots of people adding this Larimar deal to their basket now. Suddenly, people are waking up and realising mm, that they can own you, one you of can, the most yeah. luxurious yeah. and tropical gemstones but for a clearance price point, there's no way we would, should be taking Gems of Distinction Larimar to this kind of price point. £20 a strand, the equivalent of getting one. Pearls are for a perfect five combination, pounds. aren't they, with it? Yeah, actually, it, Pearls, it, they're whatever a match made in heaven, isn't they it? They are, yeah. Uh, I'll tell you what we'll do we'll move those graphics to, down to the bottom of the screen and we'll actually recap the pearls there are still some limited availability remaining in these cultured pearls beautiful burgundy tone and uh, I think originally people were drawn to these because they're so perfect for the party season mm. 
But now that yes. you see them alongside the Laramai, you just see how versatile they actually are. Seven by six millimetres in size, genuine cultured pearls. As I say, the perfect Christmas party pearls here for under £10. You'd probably say that they're, that's an added to your order price when you think that you're getting genuine cultured pearls. A, a mineral that is synonymous with so many different genres of jewellery making, everyday pieces right up to bridal wear. And you can add them to your order right now for less than £10. But um, they did prove to be very, very popular. And so we only have a limited number remaining in stock. Easily pleased in there. <laughs> There's a lot of hilarity in my ear, everybody giggling. And I was like, what, what's going on? They said Ben just sneezed. <laughs> <laughs> easily pleased, easily pleased. Right, where are we moving on to? <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's have a look at this. A treble trouble deal and uh, another wholesale opportunity any time we take a collection of gemstones and bundle them together we're able to provide you with a clearance price point a wholesale deal if you like here very versatile gemstones because again you've got quite earthy color tones here they're going to go with any other gemstone perfect for the autumnal season perhaps because here you've got gray moonstone and so you sort of stone grays the sort of pebble tones ranging up to sort of dolphin greys if you like and silver tones you see the silvers in the angelorescence that shimmer that lives within gorgeous moonstone and uh, this is of course june's birthstone so that might be a consideration if you tend to focus on birthstone jewelry but as i say any gemstone with an optical effect is going to draw attention to your designs here you've got top drill drops they range in size from five by four millimeters up to ten by six and as i say it is a treble treble deal so that means we are going to go very very low on the price point a wholesale deal for gems of distinction strand of gray moonstone this afternoon for all three sorry <laughs> whoa what are you doing now Pete, get over here. <laughs> I don't want to be associated with this. Um, yeah, um, What's happened? Yeah, I, I should say I've, I've chipped my tooth on the way to work today. You chipped your tooth yeah. on the way to work? <laughs> yeah. Um, what were you doing? Drinking with Sheila? <laughs> right, get... Uh, <laughs> there you go. Pete's had an accident. Yeah. Just look at my handsome face, but associate <laughs> the, uh, the Moonstone price point with Pete. <laughs> oh, Pete. <laughs> I'm sorry you've hurt yourself. <laughs> How did you manage that? <laughs> no, you're not. How do you know you're not? How did you manage that? Um, I, I was eating a uh, uh, chocolate bar. You're eating a chocolate bar. This is so made up. <laughs> chocolate? What, what was in this chocolate? Willy Wonka made this chocolate bar or what? Uh, you do know that Yorkies are just supposed to be for boys, don't you? Hey! 6.95 is the clearance point. Sorry, we're having a little bit of fun here this morning, but we are giving you incredible deals, and that is for me one that has blown everything else out of the water we're going to move over now to see what sheila created with her challenge kit now you picked this one didn't you this morning i Crane, did but... yes yes to go with the feathers so um <laughs> you created a sort of butterfly it's almost like a butterfly isn't it it is actually yeah gorgeous yeah absolutely phenomenal and it really um shows the comb didn't go, obviously, because I, I couldn't find a silver comb anyway, yeah, and I hadn't did, got any wire feathers. So yeah. I wanted to do something with the feathers, so... Um, and but it really goes blue. to show that if you remove the sort of... Um, the colour matching part of the creative process mm. from your design, then you can focus more heavily on the techniques you want yes, to achieve, yes, or the look, can. Yes, or, definitely. Or, or the style, I suppose. That's the word I'm looking yeah, for. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean you can, you can, you can change your style really, mm. I mean if you look at how many pieces of jewellery are made on the channel, how different they all are and, and you know we all worry thinking you know maybe we're going to do something the same but we always do, we do something different, Absolutely. so it, it is, it's, uh, it's an amazing sort of variety of different and, and I think different gemstones lead you into different areas anyway, Absolutely. different yeah. shapes, different here you've yeah. got the sort of classic monochromes haven't you because you've got your um, 
black rutile quartz in, yep. the, in the diamonds. Yep. You've got your black or snowflake obsidian, obsidian, sorry, and your silver pearls there. And also, you see the silver pearls and the, the sort of the whites, the more sort of white of the um, uh, rutile quartz yes, that go together, and the black obsidian and the, the real black sort of singular gemstones go together so you, you you can combine them in lots of different ways can't you and it's all mirrored in the feathers as well <laughs> that give you that monochrome yes, look so yes, it's just absolutely yeah. perfect all available right now for 21.95 and i've still got people coming through on the free phone number to add that to their order don't blame you absolutely amazing and if you still wanted to take advantage of the gray moonstone deal which again would work brilliantly it would with this work very kit, well with that it would 6 95 for three strands in fact beverly's just texting to say no that price is just plain nuts brilliant thank you have to actually agree with you there Be Beverly rather fantastic price point um, just enough time for me to thank the lovely Sheila and thank you thank Ed. you for your insights oh, and your beautiful well. designs um, thanks to all the guys who put in together the show particularly Sandra because she made me a lovely coffee um, and <laughs> and uh, you for joining us hopefully we've made it worth your while because we have brought you that incredible bag coming up in just a few moments time we'll be Becky with the Designer Inspiration Show and she is joined by the wonderfully talented Janet who will be on your screens in just a couple of minutes. We're going to go to a quick break while they set up for the Designer Inspiration Show. Thanks again for joining us. In fact, case your skills as a jewellery designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewellerymaker.com or you can post your photos to Wall of Fame, The Genuine Gemstone Company, Unit 2D, Eagle Road, Moons Moat, Redditch, B989HF. Get making and good luck.